hello and good morning and welcome everybody to King Arthur Knight's Tale. Today's Big O stream is sponsored by the developers of this game that comes out tomorrow. If you'd like to get your hands on it, the link should be pinned to the top of the chat or in the description too if you want to add it to your wish list before it comes out or uh, pick it up if you're watching this later today or uh, tomorrow whenever it may drop for you. Got a little bit of an update to do. The game has uh, got a big O update for me. It's quite a few gigs, like 13 gigs or so. But while we're uh, kind of chilling, I thought it'd be a cool idea to jump over to their store page and just take a look at uh, what awaits us. So um, there's a lot of uh, information around this game too. So just so you know, I'll uh, read some stuff off for you. So that way we're all uh, squared away and on the same page of what we got to look forward to as it releases tomorrow. A peek here. There we go. All right, so this is the Steam store page for King Arthur Knight's Tale. So this is out tomorrow, as I mentioned. And there's already some early reviews on it and or I think some early access stuff for it as well. There's a live stream of the devs playing. And as Steam says, this is a tactical RPG, turn-based tactics, dark fantasy, and more. Um, as uh, a note here that I have says, King Arthur's Tale is a turn-based tactical game with RPG and roguelike elements. And it's an indie game developed by uh, Neocore Games. They're also the people who made uh, 40K Inquisitor, Martyr, and then, of course, The Incredible Adventures of Van, Van Helsing Trilogy. That's a name I haven't heard in a while, Van Helsing. That was a good movie, actually, I remember. I didn't know there were a lot of games on it. That's cool. Anyway, the game will be leaving early access tomorrow, then. And so it's in early access for a while, for over a year. And that started on January 26th of last year. Uh, so... They also had a very successful Kickstarter campaign that was really, um, really successful, and the game will come out on a later date for forty nine ninety nine. So that's basically now, or tomorrow, I should say. Uh, it's also coming out for PS Five, Xbox, and Series S and X, and the uh, price on Steam will be forty nine ninety nine tomorrow. Then, and it might actually have like a day one. Uh, oftentimes, make sure you check the store page because. A lot of the times the game comes out, I see it on sale for like 10% off or so. So there could be like a little bit of a, um, like a little bit of a, a discount or something like that. Uh, this game is not solely turn-based either. As you can see, there's like a lot of movement around. But it looks like the combat may be, may be turn-based. So we'll kind of see what lies in store for us. But uh, as the title suggests, the game's setting is in the Arthurian myth and legends of King Arthur with a twist. So we'll be playing as uh, Sir Mordand a former nemesis of King Arthur, and as we explore the mythical island of Avalon. Ooh. All right, well then, obviously that doesn't exist. Cool. All right, so we'll control a party of four, sometimes five. Okay, so we can have up to a party of five, which can uh, we can choose from more than 30 heroes across six diverse classes. During the adventure, we'll meet all sorts of key figures of uh, Athurian myth, including uh, the Round Table Merlin, Sir Lancelot, King Arthur, Sir Percival, Morgan Le Fay, and the Green Knight, etc. And we'll get to know their backstories too. Combat will work as a turn based tactical system like XCOM, but the heroes will level up, and there's a deep character progression system, which means unique skills and hundreds of unique items and random loot. Each hero will then have a distinctive personality and their loyalty is constantly changing through decisions made by the player. That's me. That's me, Chad. In between quests and missions, we'll manage the Avalon and Camelot. Oh, so we get to a little bit of a kingdom manager going on. That's very nice. Very nice. Um, and it's the in-game oh, in -game HUD and on the adventure map. Okay, so we can actually do that almost kind of like in real time. Like we don't have to like, it's not like after a mission. We can do it during, I'm assuming. Management in King Arthur Knight's Tale focuses on rebuilding Camelot and expanding the mythical stronghold with new buildings and their upgrades. All right, we got a kingdom builder. You know what that means, chat. Can we get a wood check? Do we, chat, do we have enough wood or not? More wood is needed. Okay, so King Arthur and his friends are going to have to go out and <laughs> find some wood. We had to rebuild this kingdom, y'all. All right, so the game has uh, four lengthy story acts, which... Total up to more than 50 missions. That's pretty substantial, including story missions and side missions. 50 is a big O. 50 is a big O. That's a lot. Uh, the end of the campaign opens up the end game with tough new challenges, unique boss fights, and extended character progression. Oh, so after the story, you can keep on playing. So if you really, really like the characters you made or how things went, you can keep on trucking. That's nice. 
Uh, the game has seven enemy factions, including Picts, Simulite, the Unsili, and the Fomorians, and more. And each faction has dozens of unique enemies, and each act accumulates in a unique boss fight. Ooh. Uh, your in-game story choices have an impact on morality, which is represented by the morality chart. Oh boy. Oh boy. I'm already intimidated. And your in-game story choices have an impact on, uh, yes, like I mentioned, the morality, which then can unlock uh, various heroes and upgrades depending on where you stand on the chart. Morality can be rightful, tyrant, old faith, or Christian, or a combination of these. Okay, so we can be good guy, bad guy if we want to. Morality path will influence the party, and the battles we face uh, will affect the game's ending. Uh, this game is also using Neo New Neocore's own engine, which they call the Cortec engine, and the terrain was built by using photo-scanned environments, complemented by high-quality mocap animation. Oh, really? This is actually a fo photo uh, photorealistic game, then. Well, I want to see some of these trailers, then, before we get started. So let's let's start here and find out what's in store for us. Welcome to the next chapter of the Knight's Tale Dev Diary. This time, we're taking a look at the game's deep character management possibilities. That looks nice. Starting with the characteristics of the six classes. Without further ado, let's jump into it. Yeah. Classes. That looks Defenders nice. Defenders can withstand more hits, so they act as protectors, using their abilities to defend other characters as well. In turn, they're not as skilled with a weapon, so their hits deal less damage. If you want to deal more damage, the champion might suit you. They can penetrate damage. enemy defenses like no other, striking enemy units with great power. This also means that their defense capabilities are mediocre. <laughs> then again, you don't have to let your enemies get closer. Ooh. The marksmen can target distant units, taking them out effectively. That was disgusting. And they're quite agile as well. That worm was gross. But as soon as they get into a melee situation, they're in trouble. We also believe in the element of surprise. The vanguard can hide and set traps to gain an advantage in the battle. A little trickster. Oh, if bear, tra bear traps? They can bear hold their own in melee bears? combat as well. Bears? They're better not the be. Arcanists invoke ancient powers, spells that deal damage in an area, and curses that weaken enemy combatants. There better not be bears. Since I'm just they're saying. not warriors, they are very vulnerable in close combat. Oh, dude, Merlin. What's up, bro? It's Merlin. Nice. Ooh, Sage. That's a good Sages spice. Sages fare somewhat better in a melee situation, but it's not really their specialty. In selfless acts, they elevate others using boosting spells to strengthen allied combatants. In King Arthur Knight's Tale, each hero is unique, hired in special missions where you can learn about their story and background. Oh. Each hero has unique personality traits and a morality value. I've seen Among something them, like that you'll before. You'll recognize the most well-known characters from the Arthurian myth, Lancelot, Guinevere, Merlin and others can join the round table. As nice. their reputation suggests, they offer unique extra skills for your benefit. That's cool that they give them like story missions for the unique characters. That's cool. Throughout your journey, you'll find many artifacts. Among them are special ones that can significantly affect the tactical role of your heroes, even granting new abilities. That By finding cool. more and more, you can assemble more varied parties. Discover even more ancient secrets throughout the land by being observant and ingenious, and find unique consumable effects. Choose wisely which of your heroes should take these. Sir Ballin? He's Ballin, y'all. By having more than 30 heroes coming from the six classes, you'll have access to more than 300 skills. This way, assembling a party of four combatants has a potential of near endless variation. But be careful how you're combining your heroes. Be aware of the objectives and conditions of your next mission. Each situation requires a different approach. Consider everything you've learned and choose your party members wisely. That's it for today. Thank you for watching and stay tuned until our next episode. I like...
The environments very much. The special effects of the uh, the fog and the rain and stuff like that is very nice. To end this nightmare. Ooh, ooh, is this a game trailer? <gasps> All right, let's find out what's going on with the story. Wake up, night. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. Oh. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. Oh, do that armor. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king, you have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? Oh. You saw Camelot burn and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights and monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. Was that Palpatine? You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. Kills King Arthur, and with his dying breath, he struck you down. You both died, and yet you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back. To end this nightmare, so traitor. Oh. I want you to go on a nightly quest. Every night, or I just. I want you to finish what you have begun. She said nightly, Kill so. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. Oh, just Wednesdays? Oh, okay. Well, she said nightly quest, so I was like, okay, so we gotta do the part-time job? <laughs> Dude, that intro looks so cool! That was really well done. Welcome to the third entry in the Knight's Tale Dev Diary. This time, we're taking a look beyond the story of Mordred and Arthur, because we've got some cool things in store. Let's check out what kind of game modes and horrors await the players after completing the main story of King Arthur Knight's Tale. Yeah. That is, a, that is a thing in this game, too, is once you complete the story, you can keep on trucking and doing more stuff like that. So that's that's actually pretty cool that it's not just like, okay, game's over, and then you don't get to do anything else. I do I do like that when there's like a story or a campaign, and then it opens up afterwards. Okay. Nice. In this tactical role-playing game, the campaign is only the first part of your journey. If you're craving more challenges, you can delve deeper into this world with an incredibly satisfying end game content and Ooh. seasonal updates. Ooh, spiders. And if you claim no, you, you can breeze through even the hardest challenges, prove your worth against other players in an engaging PvP mode. Ooh, PvP. The campaign might conclude, but the game is far from over. That's how you your very best parties, you can attempt to tackle a near impossible challenge, stopping the Fomorian invasion. During a series of randomly appearing endgame oh. missions, you'll have the chance to level up further, that collect world looks incredible nice. treasures, and equip your characters with the best gear to face the ultimate danger. The plight might seem endless, but even nightmares can end. With enough fortitude and skill, you can overcome the cruelest bosses, such as the Great Worm or King Bress. And at the end, if you're still alive and kicking, you can challenge Baylor, the Fomorian god himself. Oh, here's your PvP. 
Let's say you've gotten good, and you can defeat even the hardest AI-controlled enemies, and you want to prove yourself to the world. Worry not, because you can test your skills by facing real human players. Coming soon in our next Early Access patch, you'll be able to fight oh. on multiple maps specifically created for PvP scenarios. That's already in, in there. In our custom PvP mode, you'll be able to use many unique options that will influence your tactical approach, including various power-ups, items, and even terrain arrangement. Determine which heroes can be selected by both players from a set pool of characters, or create a game of moralities. Let the great heroes of different sides of morality fight against each other. You can also select a game mode where your custom endgame party goes head-to-head -head with another player's advanced party. May the best team prosper. Why can't we just do a game mode where we just get along and, and like, talk out our differences? Why not? The challenges don't end here, either. After the full release, we plan to support King Arthur Nightsdale for a long time in the form of free content updates called Seasons and Ooh. smaller DLCs. Seasons will periodically introduce new enemy factions, new endgame bosses, and add new challenges and loot, dragon. including collectible, consumable items. That's a dragon. Prepare to face the Seely, the Unseely, the Romans, and even ghosts in the post-release period of the game. King Arthur Knight's Tale is a turn-based tactical game with RPG and roguelite elements, and it's leaving early access on February 15th, 2022. It's actually tomorrow. Be sure to check out our previous it was delayed a little diaries, bit. where we talk more about the main features, the playable classes, and more. See you next time. What if the next video we watch is just like, bears? Today I'm here to talk to you about all the bears in King Arthur's Knight's Tale. All right, there's a few more videos. I'm just waiting on Steam to actually like recognize that the game is uh, ready to go. It's on Steam now. It's has nothing to do with the game. It's just like Steam needs Welcome. to acknowledge. You are watching the developer diary for King Arthur Knight's Tale. In this first episode, we're going to focus on what we mean when we say this game is an interesting hybrid. But uh, excuse me? That man is... Whoa, wait a minute. Is that... Is that like an eight-foot-tall dude with 14 skulls for his head? I don't know how people come up with this stuff. That's crazy. Say this game is an interesting hybrid between turn-based tactical games and traditional RPGs. Oh, the, the update's already downloaded. Steam just, like, needs to verify the, the cache and stuff. It just takes a minute or two. You know how it is. King Arthur Knight's Tale is a complex tactical fantasy game created by hardcore developers for hardcore players. In this game, every little move and every decision matters. Nice. Oh, a cover system? Oh. Armor and shields are the most effective when facing the enemy, and the in-depth overwatch and opportunity attack system turns front lines and flanking into a major tactical feature. Well, they did mention it was like XCOM that way. If you're not careful, traps and stealthy enemies can lead you into impossible battle situations really quickly. But remember that you can also use all these features to your advantage. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Know your enemies and counter their attacks with the right moves. That's a lot of damage. Sometimes meticulous planning and patience will be the key to victory. But sometimes simply charging straight into combat with your heroes will work just fine. Oh, good. Leroy Jenkins. Morality in an immortal, immoral world. Immoral world. Will you become a rightful monarch or a tyrant? I'd Do you believe try to in be Christianity, nice. or would you rather follow the old faith? I believe in uh, Wendy's These decisions nuggets. shape your morality, which will affect how your knights regard you as their lord. In the nightmarish land of Avalon, the world is never simply black or white. Oh, it's the bugs! Between the various Did you see all those gray. bugs? You are a righteous king, Hell and no. I am your humble servant. I think one day you will regret this, Mordred. Sometimes you must choose between bad or worse, and the consequences will follow you until the end. None can stand in my way. <laughs> Complex RPG-like characters. Ooh. The character progression in Knight's Tale is designed to be similar to the traditional RPGs. Your heroes level up and gain skill points that they spend on their unique trees. 
Damn, look at that armor. System that was cool. Powerful and exciting options to fine tune their tactical capabilities. Ooh, nice. You Your heroes are unique. And all of and... them have their own personalities and loyalties. Okay, cool. Be careful about how you treat your heroes, because they will certainly react to the tough decisions you'll need to make. But the fate of Camelot depends on them just as much as it depends on you. Well, that was all for today. Thank you for your attention, and stay tuned for more episodes. This is uh, very helpful to understand what we're about to get into. Okay, there's one more video to watch, and then we'll see what uh, Steam does. Hopefully Pinto blasts on it being ready. That's a big boy. I haven't seen any bears yet, so it looks like this is the best game ever made. No bears. We are... Oh, God. Oh, no. Is that a centipede from hell? Fallen knights gather. Yeah, they sure do. Nice crossbows. Okay, I was waiting to see like more ranged combat. I, I did see a bow and arrow. That's cool. Oh, more bugs. That was a big, big hit. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. 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 Oh, man. The hero's looking good. That seems like a good place to live, Island of Doom. I, w I wonder what... Is that like a nice island for like birds and sunshine and rainbows and butterflies? Okay, there's the castle management. That's what I was waiting to see. High castle, and I'm assuming that's Camelot Castle itself. Ooh! That's what I'm talking about. Now we can build temples and taverns and stuff. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. All right, so keep in mind it may have been saying like enter exits early access or whatever back in February, but they were adding some more polish and so thus it'll come out uh, tomorrow. So in the next 24 hours, uh, there is really a place called the Isle Man. Sure. I'm sure there is. Next, you're going to tell me, oh, there's a place called Wales and the Isle of Wight. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> let's just name off random places. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Let's come on. Let's be let's be factual and honest here. Okay, well, the worst uh, case scenario has struck us. We need to wait for the, the um, whatever update or whatnot I was waiting on has been downloaded, but we need to wait for Steam to, uh, to finish that off. So just give me a moment as I uh, try to do something in the background. Okay, so again, today's stream is sponsored by the devs of King Arthur Knight's Tale. The link is pinned to the top of the chat and also in the description. We'll get on playing our own adventure here in just a moment or two. Um... I'm going to just try something in the background just to see if I can kick the uh, kick Steam into overdrive. To It finished the download, but every once in a while there's like a, a download finishes and then Steam takes a while to uh, update the, uh, the thingy. So give me a minute to clear some stuff out in the background. But the link is there. And apparently, again, it is coming out uh, not remember, only just welcome. Steam in the link, but again, remember, this is also on or will be on in the future... Um, console versions, PS5, Xbox Series S and X are in the works, but they're coming at a later date. So uh, kind of confirmed, but TBD on its release. So just keep that in mind. Okay, we're going to go ahead and... Uh... 
Oh, I see. Steam is like patching it right now. Okay. So it's finishing what it needs to do for just a moment or two. Okay. All right, let's watch the uh, streams of the game. The dev is uh, about like 90% done, so this is going to be a minute. So we'll check out what they're doing right now on their page. Now, I think a game like this is really... I would, ex I would imagine that my, most of my experience would come from, you know, first couple of, like, haggard run-throughs, where it's like, a, you know, you don't, you don't do very well the first couple of times around, but, you know, over time you get a little bit more and more uh, skilled. We'll watch your live stream for a bit, and then we'll, we'll start our gameplay in just a little while. So keep in mind, this is a live stream on Steam now. Oh, it's voice acted! Nice! Thank goodness, man. They actually have voice acting for the characters. That is big. Yeah, step it up, Steam, I know. Well, there was a pretty substantial update that I got, but yeah, it's on Steam for that one. I had it all ready to go last night, but you know how it is. Any second that there's like a Steam update, Steam is... Sometimes it can take one minute, sometimes it can take ten. I serve the Lord. Uh, thank you very much, uh, by the way, for the... Uh, the membership milestone there, Seraphine. I can Watching your streams every day cost me so much money. I saw about 15 seconds of this and I bought it. Really? You're, you already uh, pre-ordered this one? That's good. If this is your type of game, you're already sold on it, I'm sure. I serve the Lord. This reminds me of a few other games I've been playing on the channel. These are the types of games that really intimidated me long ago. And I was like, oh, there's too many numbers. There's too much strategy. I don't want to do this. But... As I played more and more like World War II strategy games and such, and even though those are real time, I do appreciate the whole turn-based thing because it actually lets you think for a second. You know, it's like it's like chess or checkers where it's like those games are actually very complicated. Obviously, strategy games. Sinners shall bleed. But I would say that like though there's a billion ways to play chess and checkers with all the different moves and and such between those two, meaning you know the whole grid-based uh, movement system and whatnot. These games are even more complicated with all like the whole the healer, the defender, the ranged combat. You know, you got to worry about armor. Oh, and then you picked up a new ring, so it's like who's the ring better on? Is it better on the uh, the healer? Is it good on the mage? Do you want to put them on as this game calls them the the defender? I serve the Lord. Damn, this looks good. These games engage your mind. I love them. Yeah. This is definitely the type of game where, like, this feels chill and relaxed, but, you know, like, you want to win, so there's a lot of, there's a lot of thinking, you know, a lot, a lot of pre-planning. Right now, this mission is Bridge of Sorrow Level 2, Sir Balan must survive, and Sir Blaine must survive. Explore the fortress, clear the tower, clear the chapel, and I think it said capture the bridge. Another notch on my blade. Clear the tower, oh, clear out, clear out the other bridge, okay. Okay, so it looks like when combat is over, then it's like an open world, like, you can just move around. And once you encounter enemies, then it becomes like a, a grid-based, turn-based strategy, but then you're free for movement. That's nice. This is exactly what I would want. Exactly. This is best of both worlds, because you get to control your party, free roam, explore, go break pots, and open up chests. But then once you get into combat, then it becomes more of a quote-unquote dice roll for certain things, you know, when it comes to damage. I honestly prefer turn-based strategy games over real-time. I like how this combines both. It feels more immersive to be able to explore the environment as if you were, you know, exploring it in real life. Yeah, there's shrines. Ooh, are we going to see a cutscene? Oh, baby. Big boss battle? Or no? Wait, just an archer? Oh wait, there's a lot of dudes. Wait, are they surrounded? Deploy your heroes. Oh, there's multiple entry points. Your command? Oh, you could totally flank the enemy. I am ready. That's nice. Your orders? And as they said, up to f up to five characters sometimes can appear. So. Right now they're controlling uh, yeah, five different Ready characters to, to roll into this chapel. Your command? 
Hold on, let's... Can we get an update on how we're doing with the uh, Camelot wood storage? Not enough wood, my lord. Okay. Shall bleed. So we still need wood. That's still going to be something we need. Uh, multiplayer is part of this game, yes. They did say that there was going to be PvP. Um, as for co-op and whatnot, I, I didn't see anything for going through co-op, but... I guess Nothing serious. as as we mentioned, the you know, there's the campaign. Once you complete the campaign, then there's kind of the open world mode where you can then grind a bit more or go into <laughs> PvP, so that's kinda they nice. Die the same. I am ready. Bum, bum, bum. Sinners shall bleed. So, it's kind of weird, though. Why are Sir Balin and Sir Blaine the only two that At must service, survive? My lord. I would imagine everybody else is pretty important the here. Lord is my witness. Yeah, that guy's got a crossbow. Ooh. Sometimes they can score multiple hits. I'm here to serve. They have main character syndrome? Uh, quite Four possibly. Color. All right, let's check Ready. our status here. Okay, we only got a few minutes left then. Steam, why you gotta be so slow? We'll go back to checking out and see what the Welcome devs do. Welcome to the next chapter of the Knight's Tale. Hold on, sir. Hold on. Very nice. Probably because there are the objectives while your party can be revived at mission end. Oh, that could be. Oh, yeah, there could be a post, post, um, I am ready. like a post mission breakdown where you get to bring all your loot back and put it onto different characters. Yeah, I would imagine that might be how it plays out because we could take all these characters and then switch them out when we go back to main base. Because we can have quite a few different characters. We can mix them up from time to time. God have mercy upon their soul. It's a shame what happened to this castle. It could have been a match to Camelot, but those times are over. Select resting action. HP recovery. Oh, so after combat you can heal up. Lord. Nice. Just don't take the elevator, yeah. Well, I like the designs of the rooms and everything like that. It looks good. We'll uh, experience it in a moment in its full HD. So they're exploring to get coins. Yeah, so you can find a lot of loot around. But also traps, you know. You walk into a room and then suddenly enemies. Yay, surprise. I'd imagine this is pretty far into the game with um, multiple enemies. When we are finished, or multiple allies, multiple heroes. Will make an excellent outpost. The head of the bridge is already in the land of midnight. We fought our most vicious battles Ooh. here. What oh, do we actually get the to capture this castle? Clearing back the dead. Destroy it. Oh yeah, this this does have multiplayer elements to it. Yeah. Your orders? Sinners shall bleed. Wait, is Friar Tuck a part of uh, King no Arthur lore? For the wicked. Or am I thinking of something else? Is Friar Tuck part of that? Defend yourself. Or am I thinking of Robin Hood? Oh, that's Robin Hood? Oh, okay. Does Robin Hood and King Arthur take place in like the time the same time frame? Like would would it be possible to see Robin Hood in this? Or are those two like different are those two different like lores or whatever? Yeah, die. King Arthur King Arthur did have Merlin, dude. Yeah, Merlin's badass. Whenever I think of Merlin, I always think of the uh, I think it's the old Disney movie. Yeah, old Disney movie called Sword in the Stone. Make up your mind. Where he had to pull uh Sinners shall bleed. Oh, Robin Hood is 600 years later. Oh, okay. Darn. But anyway, uh, you had to pull uh, Excalibur out of... Um, the Lord. I don't know if that had a, a name to it. The, the, st the stone. Whatever the stone was called. Excalibur is a fantastic name for a sword, though. I hope that's in here. 
Looks like they kept a lot of um, lore and whatnot. I mean, obviously it's based on dark fantasy, so everything's going to be kind of like, you know, at their leisure. But that's what makes it fun, because they can play by their own rules. Lost no Squire. Mercy for the wicked. Your command? You're certain that Excalibur will be in the Ready game? It better fight. be. I, I've been trying to see if, like, I can see what whomever is holding for weapons, but it'll be cool if the sword makes an appearance. Okay, so she she is a badass archer, man. I fight for honor. For my Camelot. Awaiting your command. Your orders? Oh yeah, There's, they're getting ready to surround. Blessings. Nice, dude. Finish this guy I off here with the Lord. with the three. Maybe Archer the Nine. <laughs> that, that scream though. Oh, did she fire twice, bro? An archer who can actually fire off. Oh great, more enemies. Great. I am here to serve. We'll have to fight an undead Arthur. He might still have the Excalibur. It's possible, yeah. If he's, you know, Sinners shall bleed. dead. We'll see how things play out in the story. What are we waiting for? The this Lord game looks like turn-based Dark Souls. That's a compliment, man. I, I like the environment that the game's created. Uh, as I read <laughs> earlier, all of this environment was kind of... It's based on photorealism, Ready and a lot fight. of the environment, like the... Special yes, effects and stuff like the mist and whatnot are, of course, like, added in there. But I think that just makes country. it look more mysterious. Do we fight no Merlin, mercy, too? Apparently we can it. recruit Merlin. I saw him in, like, some of the cutscenes and stuff. So Merlin's here. All the characters from the Arthurian witness. lore are here. I'm not an expert on it, but I've definitely heard of, like, Merlin before. And, um... I am here to serve. The, uh, the Knights of the Round Table and... Scalibur and a few a few things pieces of lore. This is also a really good way to like learn for the more of the lore as well, or get interested outside of the game too. Like this could send you down a whole rabbit hole of learning all about all the characters and all the Your Highness. You know, like who did what. Blessings. Pretty cool, actually. Defend yourself. At your service, my lord. What? I always feel like once a decade, too, somebody tries to make, like, a, a King Arthur movie, and then it you triggers cannot? this whole, like, slew of never give up. games and movies and Neither books. Onwards. It's pretty good lore to be able to, like, continue on like that. Uh-oh. Boss battle now time. Now the castle has been cleansed, I will rule over the bridge. Um... I see that you think you've earned the bridge, Sir Balin. Your brother might have something to say about this. I am the rightful heir. I'm glad to serve a righteous king. I'm the one holding back the tide of darkness, not my brother. You saw me in battle. You know what as a knight. I'd suggest that you consider. Oh, thank God step. there's voice acting. My word. I will accept your decision. You are making a mistake. Victory! Oh, it looks like you can keep exploring after a mission, so you can finish mission and return to, like, the overworld, but... Uh, Sir, Bal Sir Balin or Balin is Arthur's brother? Oh, really? What the? Wait, are they, like, bros, or are spoils. they actually brothers? More spoils. Oh, nice. They found poison. And plus 12 gold. He looks dead to death. Oh, so there's injuries that they can leave the battle with. There's their XP. Multiple level ups. Oh yeah, this must be right at the beginning. They're stepbrothers. Ooh. Chat knows the lore. That's good. Alright, let's check... Uh Steam times. Come on, Steam. I want to play. Five minutes. Oh. All right.
It's okay. We'll keep watching so we can learn. Basically like a tutorial. Vitality, hit points, armor, action points, morality neutral, traits, fast metabolism, raider, defender of the bridge. Oh, you can give people like classes by like completing objectives? Interesting. Round table, cathedral merchant. Oh yeah, this is definitely a tutorial. All right, so this is stuff we're going to see when we get in there. There's the round table. It's actually round. Wow. I was expecting it to be more square. Title's very misleading. <laughs> Alright, so we got cash to spend, armor, ring of strength, lucky charm of swiftness. Ooh, that's a good cereal. A lot of sigils and such. I'm assuming these could be used on multiple characters? Torture. Oh, that's nice. Yay. Greek fire. Ooh. Oh, nice. They're building stuff now. Now, this is the dev playing, so they're speeding through things because they already know what's up. But when we get in there, we're going to we're gonna read everything so we can see what we can do and how it'll benefit our characters in combat. And I'm assuming the more things that we build at, like, the kingdom... Yeah, it looks like they're rebuilding stuff after the kingdom has been, like, crushed. So they're probably doing things... Yeah, like, for example, the merchant will allow us... Once you rebuild that, you'll be able to build or sell, buy or sell things once you build that. So that'll be good. That'll be very nice. What's my internet speed? At least one. It's Comcast, so you know it's bad. Villagers of Kingstone... Oh, look at all the locations. Very nice. A lot of this has to be built uh, based on lore. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there's a lot of bridges, it seems. Bridge simulator. We should be ready in like a couple minutes then, and we'll finally get to take our first look. Ooh, good cutscene. Bridge of Sorrow. So you have decided to come to the bridge. Right on time, I'd say. I don't like this eerie silence. Sir Balin must survive. Hey, is anyone here? What on earth could this be? You again. Clear away from my land. Balin, brother. You can't banish me from my own land. This castle is my heritage. This castle belongs to a lord who can defend it for a change. Oh. You call this defense? You are hiding in a tower, watching it all crumble away. Enough, or I swear I'll gut you both. Boy, the devil. It is Sir Mordred in the flesh. That's the Sir Mordred I knew. You don't even... To the land of midnight. My father has become a filthy, rotting... You did God's work, then. Good luck with that. You must pass this bri... Let's make a deal. All right, the oh, conversations are actually quite diverse. Good dialogue trees. I mean, it's mostly one and two options, but at least it's um gives you a lot of choices between one and two. Like eight, ten times it asks you. Well, there's formations in the game, too. We're going to have a lot to learn. There is something truly wicked shambling beyond the mist of Avalon. A chest, brothers. Treasure lost and found. Game, come on. Okay, apparently it says two minutes. That's basically it, just patching. The tree. Who could have done this? Uh, 
Oh, great. Zombies. That's that's fine. Your orders? What? No mercy for the wicked. Oh, and we're surrounded. Make up your mind. Wasn't our brother supposed to be defending this bridge? No it's it's littered with zombies. He did a really bad job. Ooh, she's laying traps. Bear traps. Or surveillance is. Your head is mine. Oh, they barely do any damage. Yeah, sweet. Got him in the bear trap. Oh, nice. You can attack multiple enemies with long weapons. Awaiting your command. No mercy for the wicked. Yep, booty to looty. You kill everybody. Time That's for sure. The ravens. What are we waiting for? Sinners shall bleed. For the Lord Almighty. Well, that was an easy fight, but it was just... won't return from the grave this time. Simple zombies. It seems quiet now, but they can come at you from anywhere. Believe me, I fought and bled for each room. Let's clean out the places where they gather. Hmm. I hope after they clear this area, like it looks like they're clearing the tower, the chapel, and the bridge again. It was kind of the same as what they did before. I ordered this door shut when the rot started to spread amongst my soldiers. Half of them were still alive, though. I was hoping the healthy ones would win. Let's see if we can actually check the... Uh... Install Steam. You're being a never ending story of pain. Welcome to the next chapter of the Knight's Tale Dev Diary. The OS of Pain. Good music. Yeah, the dev is skipping the dialogue, but once we get in, we'll make sure we go Sinus more in depth. Shall bleed. But this is showing a lot of the combat and stuff at the uh, at the top level. So the bricks next to the reticle seem to show that characters are behind cover, or at least that her shot is blocked. But I'm assuming with a ranged character, if you move to where, you know, like if somebody's behind cover, but you get behind them, then you can. You know, you can actually take Life them out. Is suffering. I fight for honor. <laughs> what are we waiting for? No mercy for the wicked. Kneel before your king. I am ready. There is something very satisfying about killing a lot of low-level enemies. Just one swing and you kill two, three, four, five enemies that are just surrounding you. Very satisfying. Your Highness, this looks like a game you can get into. We are one step closer to reclaim this yep. haunted place. I'm starting to really enjoy more and more of these types of games where it's like... There's, there seems to be a lot of complexity, but if you go slow and do things a little at a time... Of course, that's, you know, how you start out. You start out with just your castle and a few King Arthur's presence heroes. in Avalon is like a rot that had set in the flesh, spreading and destroying everything. Looks like they'd been here before. This looks like the same area they were fighting over just before. Wait, is this where they go into that room and then there's an ambush? Let's say a prayer. No mercy for no. the wicked. This see wait, yeah, this is the same chapel. I am here to serve. Deploy your heroes. Heroes uh deploy heroes one by one in green areas. Well, this chapel seems witness. the same, but it looks different too. <laughs> <laughs> the screaming. Re I am ready. You I'm ready. 
Oh, finally, we're good to go. Well, thank you, Steam, for finally finishing that. Yeah, all right. All right, let's play. Thanks for being patient, guys. Yeah, it was, it was updating a, uh, some files in the background, and it downloaded them relatively quickly, but it was on Steam to, like, synchronize the cloud or whatever. All right, finally we can play ourselves. Oh, finally. All right, let's get some Pinto Bless Walls in the chat. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Now we can play in HD. Beta disclaimer. Uh, let's see. Probably fine. Early Access Summer Update. Welcome to Night's Tale Summer Update. This patch is looking to shake things up around Avalon with features such as brand new frost-based utility class, the uh, Sage Control... Ooh, controller support? So that players can kick back on the couch and enjoy the journey across Act 1 of the story campaign. Four different difficulty settings, new skills, changes, balance, and bug fixes. We recommend starting a new game to fully experience the content of the update. Drop your feedback on the controller handling and the new class or any other feature on the official Knight's Tale Discord. Avalon awaits. Cool. All right. Now we can jump in. Feels good, man. Feels good. Let's turn on subtitles for everybody. There we go. Ah, there is multiplayer here, so that must be more of the PvP stuff we're looking for. So, King Arthur, Knight's Tale, new campaign, multiplayer, and then options, credits, and exit. And that looks very creepy. Okay, let's do, um, just check a few things here. I think we can change a lot of this stuff later. Oh, large fonts, that's helpful. And controls, nice. Let's go. Select game mode, classic mode or roguelite mode. Uh, classic mode, you can freely save and load your progress. Roguelite mode, your progress is automatically saved. There's no manual saving. Every decision, mistake, and death is permanent. Oh. Well, I'm a level one, level zero, level negative one noob. So let's do a uh, classic mode for this run, but it does seem if you want to be macho, you can definitely be macho. Select difficulty. Story, normal, hard, or very hard. Enemies moderately stronger in campfires during missions restore a large amount of hit points or health. I think we'll just do normal. All right, here we go. Very excited. What's up, Archinator? Welcome aboard. A cookie, thank you for subbing. Welcome aboard, guys. Good to see you all here for King Arthur Knight's Tale. Again, the link's pinned at the top of the chat or the description if you'd like to check this one out now. Uh, coming out tomorrow, next 24 hours. So. Wake up, Knight. No, I want to sleep. You must take up your arms again. This is all very confusing. I know. Focus. Breathe. It will all become clear soon. You were fighting in the last great battle for Britannia. When King Arthur's adversaries marched against the once and future king. You have committed dreadful acts to fulfill your destiny. Do you remember the earth trembling? Can you recall the gathering of terrible armies? You saw Camelot burning and watched the power of magic tearing apart the world at its seams. You led knights monsters into a deadly storm of fury and blood. You destroyed the ladies of the sun and the lords of the winter. You have killed King Arthur and with his dying breath, he struck 
let you down. You both die. And yet, you both live. You have unleashed something that cannot be stopped. The tide of madness and pain will swallow us all. I have brought you back to end this nightmare, Sir Richard. I want you to go on a nightly quest. I want you to finish what you have begun. Kill King Arthur. Or whatever he has become. After I took his dying vessel to Avalon. I believe that lady... So Mordred, oh. Living and breathing again. But is he truly alive? I wish I could talk to him. But I can't just yet. Serves him right anyway. I believe she's I've very mad. I've this dread night on a dark path. And for now, I can only watch where it takes him. I've brought back King Arthur's nemesis and wonder if I made the right choice. Mordred did the impossible after all. Almost killed the king who cannot be killed. And that's how the nightmare began. Is that her talking to me? Okay. Love myself some uh, medievalish music. Let's find that. Lo-fi. There's a lo-fi mode for the music. <laughs> lo-fi dark fantasy music. That is that is a genre. I don't think we can find anything in here. We look badass, though. A door Wait. opening experience. Who the hell are you? I'm here to teach you some manners, lad. Could you imagine if I died on this fight? We probably will. Well, uh, let's see. Wait. Our character's name is Sir Mordred? Oh, Mordred, okay. That's good music, dude. Um, can I move? Oh, you have to draw. Oh, I see. You have to click and hold. Okay. Hopefully I can attack diagonally. There we go. There's armor, a sword, and... Oh, I thought that was gold, but it looks like candles. Can we loot him? No. What is this thing? Oh, there we go. Let's have a look. The things we can loot are just simply highlighted. Okay, that makes it a lot easier. Uh, Diablo and XCOM together, a mix that you like? Yeah, I would say that that is uh, accurate so far. Open the door, whoever you are. Help me, and I will help you. You're going to help me? Okay. 
This better not be a trap. Well, well, well. Sir Kay, King Arthur's Seneschal, in a dungeon rotting away, a hero's reward. An honest and capable man, but a bit dull, like an untended blade. Sir Mordred, the scourge of Britannia is back. Avalon is not a place for your treacherous kind. Now calm down, bro. What, what's going on? Are you real? Or just a ghost? Tell me, Mordred. Do you remember killing me? <laughs> You're quite upset about dying, yet you seem to be very much alive. How so? Help me escape, traitor. Then we may talk. What is this wretched place anyway? I've already told you. Avalon, the island of the fallen knights. And this is Castle Camelot. Oh, wow. This hovel is Camelot? Yes. Not the one that you remember, though. So you, a knight of the round table, ended up here, behind locks? Pitiful. Wow, these are these are like on par with Metro Sim Hustle. Some of us are still waging a war. I fought and have been betrayed. You are familiar with betrayal, aren't you? Wait, can I use the number keys? Trust was always your weakness, Kay. And what is yours? Your bloodlust? Your savagery? Glare in silence. Yes, I thought so. You think you're strong enough to fight the taint on this island? Um, excuse me? Uh, you promised to help me if I set you free. How about that? I keep my promises. I will help you, Mordred. Dot, dot, dot. The powers that rule this land decided to trust you with our fate. I don't know how to feel about that. But soon, you must make your very first decisions. Open the door. Hopefully we can get him a weapon or something. He's basically can't do anything ATM. Oh, healing potion. Oh, you can use stuff in the field. Nice. Great. That's my arm over there. Finally. I feel more useful now. You think a sword makes you less useless? We must get out of here. Go to the door and let me handle this. I was totally not going to steal your armor or anything earlier. <laughs> not at all. Alright, let's go. Rascals! I told you that you will pay for this! What the hell is he doing out of his cell? Surprise! Ooh, an ambush. They didn't know I was here. Get wrecked, sir. Oh! oh. Get wrecked. I am here to serve. easy escape from the dungeons you got it wow these rooms look cool uh, let's check this door something to line our pockets <laughs> look what I found sigil for heavy armor 50 bucks all right Ooh, crossbow well there's lots of weapons and stuff in here we're just gonna leave it oh Gamer logic. If all, we can only take it if it's in a chest, you know? This is the warden's room. Prepare for battle. Ooh. Oh, the round table. Hello? Oh, hi. Oh, you have friends. Great. Sir Kay, you are really persistent. But I can't let you walk free. 
You don't have much choice in the matter now, Warden. Guys, can we talk about this? Your head is mine. <laughs> Get wrecked, sir. Oh, I keep moving. Damn, dude. This music is so good. <laughs> he hit me. That's not allowed, sir. Wait until my friend Sir K finds Ready out about this. Time to feed the ravens. Now let's give this a try. Ooh, nice. I don't know if that worked on him, but he's dead now. Awaiting your command. Uh, kill him to death, please. Yeah! We should find the one who is truly in charge here. I wonder if loot shows up on the mini-map. I don't... Yeah, I don't see it. What do we have here? 14 monies! Alright, chat, if I miss any loot or booty, make sure you say something. We want to get all the booty. More means to our cause. Let's have a look. Jewelry? Nice. Plus 54 coin. So it looks like the chest will show up on the minimap, but not like hidden loot. So yeah, we gotta be extra diligent. So I assume our mission right now is to... Yeah, we gotta escape the dungeon, and then I assume we're gonna retake the castle and start building our own Careful. castle? It's quite a crowd. You know very well that diplomacy was never my strong suit. We, uh, how do we equip stuff? I don't know if we can equip stuff during this section of the map. Oh, nice! We can enter combat from many different locations. So that means... That means that you can really change the course of a battle by, like, sneaking up different ways. We'll be able to kill this guy right away. And he's a crossbowman, so that eliminates the ranged attack. Or at least two of those guys. Let's just rush these two. Awaiting your command. All right, deploy your heroes. Select your heroes one by one. Place them inside the green areas with the right mouse button. Oh, I could get. Uh, wait, let's put Sir K down here. So Sir K will go this way. Try to take out that crossbowman. You should be able to get there in two turns. Time to feed the ravens. Go. XCOM style? Yeah, there's a little bit of XCOM in here, like overwatching and uh, cover system actually matters when it comes to ranged attacks and such. Alright, die to death, sir. Nice. I am here to serve. It's almost like stealth at the moment. Go for this guy in the middle. I am ready. And our turn. Take a, take a little damage. Let's take out that crossbowman first. Your Highness. Hi. Okay, so we can move 
but can attack if we move far enough. I okay. can take them all. Uh, he's gonna have to be taken out. Prepare to die. Ooh. I was hoping I could do like a sweeping attack and hit both of them. But we can attack twice. That works. Awaiting your command. All right, Sir K. Oh, he's the one who has the cleave attack. Deals seventy-five percent weapon damage to every unit within three tiles in a wide area. Damn, he's really good for clearing rooms. <laughs> What's up, Jonathan? How you doing, dude? All right, one last. Attack. <laughs> Goodbye. Oh. What ah. master do these soldiers serve, anyway? That would be Sir Toelan. Lead me to him. I want to explain him that this is my castle now. Damn right. Under new ownership. <gasps> is that the round table? It is wrecked. All the chairs are crushed. So, you are dark as well, traitor. You probably don't remember me. I wish I knew what you are. I am just a walking corpse cheated out of his death. And I will make everyone suffer for this injustice. And do you have a name? He is... He was Sir Tuellen, A once noble warrior with two sons, both knights. Hmm. And what are you doing in Camelot? A fell in battle, like we all did. But instead of gaining new life in legendary Avalon, I've returned as a lost one. I might be just as lost as you are. What are even you talking about? Let me rephrase it, traitor. Camelot is a sacred place reserved for the once and future king. That is the law. But I spit on the laws of the Lady of the Lake. Whoa. Do you think it's wise to infuriate the Lady of this land? I'm not afraid of her. Lost ones can't perish. This is our curse. And blessing. Look at these responses. Out of curiosity, are your sons as ugly, are, are such ugly monstrosities like you? Dude, this game is brutal. The combat, you know, the combat's pretty brutal, but the uh, dialogue trees are app like that. If I if I say that, that should just do like plus two damage. Like it should seriously damage him. Is that a dragon in the background? A dead dragon? My sons are both full of life. And hatred for each other. Whatever is awaiting for me here, I must face it alone. Balin and Balin are seeking their own fates now. Oh, those are his sons then. Balin and Balin, okay. Just as I do. Destined to survive anything. Is King Arthur here with you? A walking corpse? He is not. The unholy storm wrecked the ship that brought the dying king to Avalon. You can't be dead, otherwise I wouldn't be here. And the raging tempest, something was waiting for the ship. And then the darkness took the king and all of us in its embrace. Arthur is beyond the Bridge of Sorrows, dwelling on the accursed land of Midnight. Spare me this poetic rubbish. Tell me where he is and I'll let you live, or whatever you call this existence. Whatever you do, you need more than a blade to break my curse. We'll see. Worst case is that you'll keep on lamenting after I take your head. Okay, well, diplomacy failed. I tried. 
Uh, let's see, Sir K, you, your command. you got that slash attack, bro. Come over here. Nice. Going for the boss right at the start. Wait, are they doing no damage at all? Or is that armor damage? I don't know. Bye. Awaiting your command. I can take them all. Sir K does an astronomical amount of damage. He's great. Okay, now we just gotta take out the guard there. Your Highness? For my Camelot. Get wrecked, yeah. The battle is over, and you must make a choice, Mordred. This is merely the first in a chain of similar decisions that will eventually determine what kind of leader you will be. Ooh. Tell me, what will happen to Camelot? So we can choose to be good or bad. I have decided this is my throne room now, and with my band of selected knights, I will fulfill my destiny. Or two. I have been chosen by the Lady of the Lake as the protector of Camelot. I will not make this... I will not take this throne, but I'll make my round table and take on this quest. Wait, what's the differences here? Well, they don't really say, but I'm curious to know what the Lady says, so let's... I don't know if choosing this one, like, totally, like, follows a different path, but I'm curious to know about the Lady. Oh, this is the lion and the pig? Okay. I guess we'll go with this one. We'll, be, we'll try to be noble. For now. It seems like trying to be evil the first time got us killed, so maybe I guess we'll do good now. But then we'll commit evil deeds like not tipping our waitress, you know? True evil. All right. That was a slick little intro, nice. I am Morden, and I was reborn on the mystical island of Avalon, the resting place of the fallen knights. A vision told me my purpose, to find and destroy King Arthur. I woke up in a ruined castle, a reflection of the real Camelot. This is my castle now. I'm still trying to understand the nature of my powers that brought me here, but meanwhile I have a new realm to build and an old enemy to kill. Looks like we got Backstabber's Rune, Sigil of the Protector, Wrathful Sigil, Ring of the Protector. So maybe we can't use these until we're done with the mission. Damn good music, dude. Wow, here we go. So now we can build a kingdom. And I'm assuming we can go further to the west. Uh, we have Kingstone, Hill, Chalk Cliffs, Old Monastery, and Camelot. For now. Uh, new main mission available. Sir Kay has joined the court. Morality chart. Morality events. During your journey, you'll have to make tough choices that will affect the outcome of the story and your allied hero's loyalty. Here you can see your previous morality event choices. Oh, so you can keep track of what you've chosen. That's cool. Morality chart. Every choice you make will be represented on the morality chart. You can unlock morality abilities and heroes that are unique to that alignment. On the vertical axis, your alignment can go from being rightful ruler to a reckless tyrant. On the horizontal, it can range from being a devout Christian to being a follower of the old faith. The choice is yours. Okay, that's cool. So you can be like, you could be a tyrant, a Christian tyrant, and that'll give you certain abilities. Or you can be like an old faith tyrant. That's cool. 
Uh, true evil is also not returning your shopping cart to the corral. You're damn straight about that. When, so when I become uh, king of Camelot at the end of this game, and uh, you know I, I become the world's true ruler, that'll be my first decree. It'll be like, I'll call that the Mag Carta. You know what I mean? Like, you're gonna have to bring that cart right back to the corral, Mister. If you walked 7.5 kilometers around that Home Depot or that Costco, but you can't make the 14 feet from your uh, your big rig to the uh, to the cart corral. I'm sending Sir K. And you've seen the damage he can do. I'm just saying. Okay. Alright, so we're kind of like... We're going for Rightful. So at the top is Rightful, at the bottom is Tyrant. Old Faith is on the left and Christian is on the right. And I'm assuming Old Faith is like... Maybe Norse mythology? Oh, look at all these, look at all the things we can unlock. Oh, you unlock Lady Fay if you uh, go towards Old Faith. Oh, dude, yeah, so the the different choices will, the Red Knight unlocks if you go down the uh, Tyrant. Sir Lancelot unlocks if you go towards uh, Rightful. That's awesome. Who's here? Lancelot. Lega de Grants. Geraint. I don't even know half these names, but Mongol Le Fay, Bedivere, or Bedivere, Bedivere. Sir Dumbass. That must be really smart. Uh, the White Knight, Sir Galahad, Lucian. You got abilities for Joust. That's really cool. So there's characters that I think we'll see no matter what, like Merlin. There's probably main story characters that have their own backgrounds, but... Yeah, I like the fact that we can unlock a lot of stuff. That's cool. There's a lot to this, man. I think I want to go, like, rightful... Like, old faith a little bit? I don't know. Whatever. Seems like it's definitely worth multiple playthroughs, though, to experience all that. Alright, new missions available. What are these other things? Journal... Okay, so this is the... Oh, that's nice. The story so far. So if you missed out on something or you're confused, you can always go back. That's nice. That's nice. Heroes and their background so far. Sir K is a champion. Defender. Okay, so those are their classes. Different challenges. Tutorials. Game mechanics. Ooh. Details on status effects like stun lock. Weakness, taunt, silence, blind, bleeding. Okay. The usual. All right, new main mission available. Can I rebuild Camelot at all? Camelot. The once and future king's uh, stronghold in Avalon, the mirror image of the glorious fortress in Brit Britannia created by the powers that rule this myth mythical island. Only the most powerful knight of the round table can claim it. The blessings of the lady have protected this place for a long time. But now it lays in ruins. You need the resources and workers to rebuild it as the seat of your future kingdom. Oh. Building resource costs is a thousand. So I guess we gotta go get that money. At Kingstone. Among the ruins. The nearby Kingstone is plundered by a marauder knight. Kingstone. What a regal name for a mud hole. Anyway. The village belongs to the throne, and I must teach these brigands a harsh lesson about boundaries. Also, I will need plenty of masons, woodcutters, and laborers to restore Camelot to its former glory. All right, so we got to go to Kingstone to get builders, basically. So we're going to go uh, liberate a uh, friendly uh, village. Uh, free the village from marauding night to put the remaining serfs to work in Camelot. Bonus reward will be resources and recruit. Ooh, recruitable hero. Enemy type is brigands. Let's get them. So then I guess we can bring multiple people with two. So in the future, we'll, we can bring into four. 
I assume if you can go up to five, then some of it has to do with like four people can go in, then maybe you can find somebody and then bring them back, and then but you can only go in with four. So then you get an extra person to choose from. This music is phenomenal. I think we are too late. I don't see any survivors. Oh, okay. Well, let's head on back then. I'll get the truck. Get that fired up. I'll be waiting for you in the truck there, Sir K. Fine. We'll go into battle. Wow, does this look badass? Can we hide in the tall grass. Isn't good, no? Sir Balin. Come on, then, fellows. Let's play. Yes, the righteous fool, trying to save the village on his own. What a waste of bacon. Well, Sir Balan trying to save the uh, village on his own, huh? Let's help you out, bro. I am ready. On <laughs> I got him. By the old gods, Sir Mordred. The rumors are true then. You have returned. Sir Balan. Wasting your away your talents as always. I'm only following my knightly oath by protecting the innocent. The nearby village is plagued by these brigands, and I must stop them. Well, I hate to admit, but I'm here for the same reason. I need this land. So you are truly taking King Arthur's place in Camelot, recruiting knights. You should find my brother. He would be a great fit to your dark court. Oh, wow. Option three is, I fought and killed your late father in Camelot. No hard feelings, I hope. Uh, I'm not going to mention that. Let's just ask about Sir uh, Balin. That selfish, wild zealot is busy defending our heirloom at the Bridge of Sorrow. It should have been mine, but he ignored our father's will. Well, tell me more about that. Curse upon Balin. Anyway... My late father believed in Arthur's creed that a knight is defined by the deeds, not by the land. Ask it, I killed your dad. Finally, you committed a murder that you should not regret. He became a disgrace to everything he fought for in his life. Death was salvation for him. Okay, well now that we're over that, what do you know about King Arthur? I must find him. Or, should I say... That is my nightly quest. You are not the only one looking for him. Something terrible happens to Avalon, and people need guidance. Hmm. You have a point. Do you have any idea where he could be? The ship that brought him to Avalon reached shore beyond the Bridge of Sorrows. I would start looking for him there, in the Whispering Cove. That's what my father told me and my brother, anyway. Hmm. Well, I'll get to the bridge as soon as I'm done here. Our goals are the same. I'll accompany you. I've heard enough. Let's go. Yay, we have a new friend. Free the village. Okay. Bring out your dead. Animals. Half of the village is killed and maimed, the other half hiding in the woods. We must stop this. Look. I want to make sure I didn't miss loot. Oh, there's some. What do we have here? Seventeen dollars. Gather all you can. The dead won't need anything, will they? These brigands are not even worthy to stand trial. We shall kill them all. Still a good old Balan. Protector of the weak. 
spare me the cynicism. You are here for the same reason as I am. To save these people. Yes. I need them to work the fields, see? Yeah. You are a disgrace to everything the round table stood for. Maybe this land needs my round table to survive. It's a pretty nice table. Uh, let's see. Can we attack from up there? No, there's there's probably no way we could do that. I fight for honor. What can you do? Well, I'll have him flank left and go up from behind. Kneel before your king. And uh Mortid, you can go right and I K up the middle. Serve. Right, let's go. Awaiting your command. Your command? Your Highness? I was hoping uh, Balan would have extra range with his uh, extendo. I love the looks of the buildings, by the way, like the the detailing and stuff on the ropes and whatnot. I, I always do like a lot of little little extra details and stuff, especially when these scenes could just kind of be easily done. They actually put in a little bit of effort to like put stones and stuff on the roofs so that way it, you know, like would stop them from lifting up in a rainstorm or in some heavy wind. Like that's really cool. I'm just saying, I I appreciate the the little the little things, you know. Okay, uh, move there, sir. I am ready. You already killed None somebody. None can stand in my way. <laughs> they can't even penetrate our armor. Our armor is too good. Yeah, it looks like they're doing damage, but the armor is too much. Damage. Awaiting your command. Damage. Your orders? Damn. Okay, if you move up here. Oh, okay, if you try to move, that's actually quite detailed. If you try to move while they're within range, they can attack you, so that's kind of cool. You can reposition, but... Well, that's good to know. Wow, rude. Repent, sinners! Ma'am? Oh! Lady Din... Durain? Din Durain? Your Highness? Your command? Hi there, buddy. I can take them all. Well, we made a new friend, I think. <laughs> Ma'am, I'm doing it. Let... Let me do it, ma'am. I fight for honor. This is my battle. You you showed up late. <laughs> there, I I did it. Ah, Sir my Mordred, glory. you really don't have to thank me. Hmm. All you did was steal my chance to finish these mongrels. Right, I'm not gonna say that. That's truly how I feel, but I'm gonna be nice. Ah, lady with a bow. I could use someone like you. I'm Lady Dindrain, the Lord's chosen. Seeker of the Holy Grail. Oh, you like the Mo Monty Python movies too? Oh, those are great. There's also a uh, Indiana Jones movie too, if you want to go back to the kingdom and we'll fire up the VHS. Uh, let's see. 
I always thought that this quest was meant for Galahad and Percival. Aren't you helpful? I wish I had thought of that earlier. Yo, Andrew, thanks for the five, dude. Speedy, speedy. Yes, indeedy. We're we're rushing through this one very nicely. Thanks, dude, for the support. As a reminder, too, by the way, if you're watching uh, now live or in the future, make sure you check out the pin message in the chat or at the uh, top or the uh, description down below at the very top of the description. A link for King Arthur's uh, King Arthur Knight's Tale is there, and you can pick this one up tomorrow. So far, so good. I really like the voice acting for the characters because oftentimes. I think the best thing about these types of games are when, when everybody gets a voice, then you can kind of hear it in your head, and it helps to diversify the characters a lot more and fleshes them out a bit more. It's uh, definitely not cheap for developers to, like, you know, buy such a diverse cast of voice actors, but I think it makes a big, big, big difference, especially in a game like this where it's, you know, all your, your choices and the story elements really matter. Uh, let's see. Where are the Grail Knights, then? You must know them well. Do I know them? Yes, you can say so. Percival is my brother. A bright light in the encroaching darkness, fighting his battles where I can't reach him. And Galahad? Galahad is... well... Trust me when I say that he is truly lost. No, I'm alone in my holy quest. It is my trial by fire. Uh, doesn't this game also have a base building aspect, or am I getting this confused with something else? Uh, yeah, that's why we're here on this mission. We're actually trying to rescue this village to get woodcutters and masons and other people to help rebuild our castle. So it seems like in a little bit we'll we'll be able to rebuild Camelot a little bit and uh, build things like merchant uh, trading posts and like a blacksmith shop and like a tavern and uh, chapels and stuff. So we're getting on that. Don't tell me you're looking for the grail among these hovels. No, I'm looking for redemption in this hellhole, Tread Knight. By hunting down vermin like these? No, sir. I'm hunting down their leader. The Marauder Knight hiding in a ruined tower. Hmm. Our destination is the same, then. The good lord sent you, then. I'm always glad to have some walking shields around me. Let's go. Ooh, a little bit of sass. Nice. Let's go. Uh, before we do, man, there's a chest over here. And I'm gonna what grab that. Potions! Nice. Oh, you can click. Nice. The little video will pop up and then you can click on it for more, um, description. During combat, you can use various potions with your heroes if they have them in their inventory. The potions, you can heal yourself, replenish armor, or even action points. Using potion costs one action point. All right, that's cool. Did we miss anything? Yep, the barrel over here. Can you equip people? Yep, we can give them different More weapons. Trinkets. It looks like we can give everybody different potions and weapons and armor and stuff, so... Pretty cool. You can actually kind of hear that there's, like, something nearby. If you listen carefully, you can kind of hear, like, some... Sounds like wind chimes? It must be over this way, though. Like, where we're going. That leads into the village. It reeks of magic. Brines. Shrines grant random positive or negative effects to one of your heroes selected by you. Heroes with high enough spell power can reveal the exact effect of shrines. Oh, it's random. Well, let's roll them dice. Shrine. Your proficiency in spellcraft reveals that the shrine will unleash the following power. Heal HP. I think everybody's full on health? I don't know if... I don't know if our armor just greatly outranges the... Like, if we're still kind of in the game's tutorial, or if it's just, like, IGN reporter mode that I have active in the background somehow. Oh, it also shows an old, uh... Yeah, it's old faith stuff. Look at you, Mordred. In the old days, you raised the towers of mad wizards and crushed the champions of the Shi. And now you are trying to save 
some dirt poor villagers. How profoundly annoying it shall be for you. I'm gonna go back to that village first, then we'll go up the hill. Stand back, ma'am. I'm a YouTuber. We'll create a defensive line. Ready to fight. At your service, my lord. No mercy for the wicked. I wonder if she can shoot through our troops. Yes, she can. For the Lord <laughs> Almighty. Wow, nice. She, like, takes a step forward to shoot between the dudes. That's details right there. It's just a light wound. What the? Oh, actually, we did, we did take a little bit of damage. Blessings. <laughs> it wrecks, sir. Let's just stand our ground and wait for them to come to us. Um, aren't you the guy from Camelot a moment ago? Wow, there's a lot of you. Ready to fight. Sir Kay, could you go kick some ass? <laughs> Thank you. Sinners shall bleed. <laughs> nice. Oh, she can shoot more than once? <laughs> Ooh. I can take them all. That makes her double OP. Oh, no, no, no. For king and country. Ready to fight. Can you impale the enemies None in this game? Uh, maybe. Maybe there's some special abilities or something we haven't seen. <laughs> Awaiting your command. No mercy for the wicked. Oh, I should have faced him that way. Positioning matters. My witness. We fought with honor, brothers. Hmm. All right, let's go back and chat to that lady. Thank you for saving me. You're welcome. Oh, there's a lot of enemies in here. I hoped for something more. Well, we do need to get a thousand bucks to rebuild the castle, so every penny matters. Hey, bye, ma'am. Have a good day. Now I guess we can heal. Oh, I see how this works. Now we have hit points and then vitality. So there's a difference. Vitality is kind of more like permanent damage that then gives negative effects. Okay. I'm not wearing the Star Trek sweater today, chat. This is not not Star Trek. This is This is This is King Arthur Knight's Tales. So this is what they wore back in those days, okay? This is called a tunic. Okay? Or whatever. Stop. All right, hit points. Damage you can take before taking vitality damage. Vitality. Taking vitality damage can lead to persistent injuries and eventual death. Vitality does not regenerate after missions. So I'm assuming we probably need to go to like a... Um, maybe we can get like a, um, an infirmary of some sort to maybe get vitality back or... You know, or maybe the church. All right, let's use that on Sir... Or late Lady Dindrain. Yay! Let's go. And those crows are really loud. Resting areas. You come across a resting area throughout the... You may come across resting areas throughout the map. Your heroes can use these opportunities to regain some health or armor. All right, we'll come back to it. A ruined keep. 
This is where the Lord of the Vermin is hiding. Let's cleanse this hovel once and for all. The rat's troops are attacking. I want to take these guys out in the open. A chest. Get ready. I want to flank over here. Awaiting your command. For king and country. We'll have him guard the rear and get anybody who comes around the corner like that. I serve the lord. And ma'am, you're going to be on uh, sniper support. Blessings. All right, start popping and dropping, ma'am. I love that, dude. She can, like, just step out from... That is cool. The fact that she can just take a quick step shoot and then go back into cover is awesome without having to move the character, spend an action point. That's really nice. Well, let's go up the flank. Kneel before your king. your service my lord you can't really move that far I'm gonna keep him on defense perfect oh I should have faced him the other way not bad awaiting your command I can take them all I am here to serve. Feel the pain. None can stand in my way. Okay. Blessings. Let's get her the flank shot now. Nice. Ooh, look at that health. The Lord guides my head. <clears throat> Sinners shall bleed. Power attack deals 150 weapon damage to adjacent enemy with 15% armor breaking. Damn. Oh, well, that seems to have just pissed him off. Right. Sir, could you die? You're making chat very sad right now. Blessings. Kneel before your king. Uh-oh. Ready to fight. I wanted to use cleave with him shortly. Your orders? <laughs> For my Camelot. <laughs> what if you can loot a chest mid game? That'd be cool if in mid-combat you could like loot a chest and get like a potion or something. That could make all the difference if you are low health. Oh boy, Sir K is gonna need a band-aid. Your orders? I mean, uh Balan. <coughs> rude. <coughs> Very rude. Uh, oh. Oh. Uh. Why is he? Wait, why is he At faced that way? Service, my he, was lord. he was attacking people right I there. I am ready. Nice. I fight for honor. There we go. 
I thought he'd face the way he was attacking previously. Charge. Sinners shall bleed. Fire arrow, ranged attack that deals 70% weapon damage and causes burning on the damage for two turns. Suffers two to three damage at the start of their turn. Oh, let's give it a shot. Down with the violence. Ooh, nice. Good going. I can take them all. Could take a few more. Ooh. Oh boy. Awaiting your command. There we go. That'll buff out. Just get some turtle it wax. Seems I was wrong about you, Mordred. Careful with the praise. It makes me uncomfortable. I shall give you an advice then. Camelot is in danger. Not from these marauders, but the creatures of darkness beyond the Bridge of Sorrow. You mean your ancestral bridge? My brother Balin is standing guard in the bridge fort, holding back the tides at midnight. Hmm, this sounds like praise. There has been bad blood between us. He is cruel and arrogant, a savage in battle. But even Balin will fall if you don't help him out. And what about you? I have fulfilled my oath. If you decide to march to the bridge now, I will meet you there. Fine. I'll see you at the bridge. Hey, where was all the people we were supposed to, like, rescue? Alright, finish missions. When you complete all main objectives on a level, you can exit via the finish button at the top right, or choose to explore the rest of the map before leaving. Yeah, so this is how you can pick up loot and booty before you go, which is helpful. This may serve a higher purpose. The Lord giveth. Ooh, a deer. Oh, looks like all of our yeah characters rehealed right at the end of the battle. That's good. All right, finished mission. Yeah, we did it first try. Now onto the bridge. When do we get to see Merlin? The Marauder Knight of Kingstone is no more. His fate could serve as an example to those who dare to defy the will of Camelot. His vassals and ruined village remain. I've also met a fellow knight, Sir Balin, who told me that the darkness encroaching on Avalon is coming through the Bridge of Sorrow. I need to go there. Oh yeah, how do I equip these things? Camelot Reborn. Every lord needs a castle, and I knew it from the very beginning that I'll rule this realm from Camelot. Finally, the time is right. We've gathered the resources and the manpower to rebuild the majestic ruin. Camelot will shine a bright light into the gathering darkness of Avalon. Let Camelot rise again. Oh, here we go, baby. Gold and building resources. Oh, that's what we need is the building resource. But money perhaps could buy some of those too. Let Camelot rise again. Nice. Alright, so here's the things we can build. We can go to the round table, the cathedral, merchant, training ground, hospice, crypt, and enchanted tower. And maybe more will unlock over time. Okay, so here's where we can modify their stuff. Alright, cool. Now we better wor start worrying about this. So our current weapon, the Rune of Steel, does 6 to 8 damage. Oh, there you go. And there's your comparison screen right there. So I assume if we rebuild the, uh, the merchant, we can then sell some of our old booty that we don't want anymore. And she can't use swords. All right, now, now's where we gotta get the big brain fired up and try to start doing min-maxing and stuff to maximize our, yeah, firing up the brain. Looks like we have skill points too. Shield charge. Runs to an enemy and tackles them, dealing 50% weapon damage and causing knockdown. 
Knockdown. A knockdown unit is knocked back and sent to the ground and will stand at the beginning of their turn with 50% less AP. Units with 50% physical debuff resist are knocked back instead. Push the target one tiles away from the attacking unit. Oh, I wonder if that means we could like knock somebody off a bridge or down a hole or something like that. That'd be super cool. I like that. Can I unlock that? Yeah. Cool. I want to give that a try. Okay. Now, as for swords, this does six to nine. Nice. Nice. Six to nine damage. That's a step up from the six to eight. Also has a 5% chance to break defense. The Defender, Vanguard, and Sage can use this. Let's go with that then. Alright, Sir K. Oh, we don't have a weapon for him yet. And nothing for Lady Dindrain. Hey, where's that one guy? Uh, Balan. I wonder why he's not with us. That seems suspicious. Alright, on to armor. Ten percent damage for each hit received. All right, we'll go with that. And Sir K, you can have the other one. Then all this other stuff we can eventually sell. Let's try that out. All right, trinkets. Uh, plus one overwatch attacks. Oh, that's perfect for the archer. Trophy of strength. Plus two maximum weapon damage. Champion only. Ooh, Sir Kay's getting even stronger. He's my favorite. Heroic amulet. Plus eight. And unbreakable armor went all outnumbered. Oh, he all... I always put him into situations where he's got to deal with a number of mobs, so that's good. And then potions. Alright, you've got one, you've got one, you've got one. Okay. Death Strike deals 170% weapon damage to an adjacent enemy, but with 20% armor breaking, less armor breaking, each point of armor on the target reduces the damage dealt by three additional points. Can I upgrade this? Severing Blow. Cleave deals 20% more weapon damage in its center. Cleave causes bleeding for one turn. 15% damage at the start of their turn and after every action. Oh, damn. I'll take that. Oh, yes, please. Plus 15% weapon damage for strike. I'll do that again. I, lo I love that cleave attack for Sir K so much. I just love it. Bum, bum, bum. Now, what about you? Shoot weapon damage is increased by 20% against poisoned units. Torture. Increase for burning damage. Okay. So it might be beneficial to start shooting burned arrows and then fire arrows. Oh, we'll go with the poison. And then we'll go for these two so she can do even more of that juicy, damage. juicy damage. That's right. That's what it's all about. Alright, no skill points available. Everybody's looking good. Defender, champion, and marksman. Christianity, neutral, neutral. Cool. That's good enough for now. Welcome to the Crypt, the resting place of your heroes fallen in battle, left to perish into dust. Select their tombstones and pay respects F in the chat, and remember how their heroic deeds helped you in your quest. You haven't lost any heroes. Yet. Abandon all hope, ye who enter here. I think that was the uh, slogan of the last job I had. Anyway. 
Round table. Welcome to the round table. This is the legendary gathering place of the noble knights of Camelot, the seat of the monarch of Avalon. You can pass laws, really? Issue decrees and give knighthood to heroes, but first you have to unlock its functions. That's badass. So further upgrades and such. Uh, aspirant hero slots. Heroes outside of your active roster are waiting here. You can add heroes if there are any empty slots in your heroes list. Upgrade the round table to expand your hero list to acquire more hero act, uh, to your active roster. Oh. Building title. You can also assign a hero from your hero list to the to this title. A building with an assigned leader gains additional benefits. Certain hero traits have an effect on title, so be sure to pay attention to them. A hero can also hold one t title at a time. Okay. Royal Protector, Grand Master, Crees and Laws. Give knighthood to your heroes to increase loyalty to you. Mm, not yet. I want to learn more about who we can do that for. Laws, leadership, uh, legislator. Oh, le le legisl yeah, legislator decrees. Okay. Cool. Cathedral. Towering above the timbered rooftops, the majestic building preaches the glory of the one true faith. The cathedral offers uh, solve not only for the soul, but also for the body. You can heal more. Oh, okay, there you go. That's, that's where we'll do some of the big healing. You can heal the most grievous wounds of your knights here. Requires the hospice. So it's going to require gold and 500 rebuild. The merchant. Hidden building in the shadow of the colossal ramparts where the secretive merchants offers all kinds of rarities arriving from various corners of the island, ranging from strange fruits or mysterious objects to legendary weapons on earth from ruined castles. Uh huh. Looks like this also requires the hospice. Training ground. An old saying goes rather a thousand drops of sweat in training than one drop of blood in combat. On the training grounds, your knights can hone their um, martial skills and prepare for the next battle. Required is the merchant. Okay, so there is a little bit of a build order here. Enchanted Tower. The mysterious... Oh, is this Merlin's house? Oh. We might be able to put Merlin in here. This mysterious tower is an isolated yet important place dedicated to the mystical arts of magic. By tapping into the arcane energies of Avalon, you gain forbidden knowledge from magical items... Uh, you can buy new ones from the artif artificer, Arti artifier, artificier. Maybe that's it. Hospice. Avalon can now uh, can be a harsh and unforgiving place. Your wounded heroes need time and care to recover for the next nightly quest. The hospice offering comfortable beds and skilled healers is the right place for that. Well, we should rebuild that since it's basically required for everything else. Yeah. Treatment slots. At the moment, you can only have one treatment slot where you can heal your heroes. Treatment takes time, and you won't be able to use your hero during that period. The recovery time will be reduced by one after every completed mission. Oh, so missions equal time. Upgrades. Here you can reconstruct the building and expand its capabilities. Upgrade the building to unlock additional free treatment slots so you can heal more heroes simultaneously, cheaper, and faster. Nice. Medicines, Apprenticeship herb, Apprentice Herbalist, Expansion, Regain Vitality, Master, master Herbalist, Medical Tools. And now we can reconstruct the Merchant. Let's do that as well. Upgrades. Here you can reconstruct the merchant and expand its capabilities. Move items faster, refreshing, and cheaper and better goods. Oh, now we can buy stuff. Nice. We only have a little bit of gold. I think we're good for now. We'll buy and sell stuff later. Looks like we can also put a port chandler up there. 
Wow, so the more and more people we unlock, we can actually put them in the buildings and they can actually do stuff at our castle. Nice. Right, so we're basically out of construction materials. Okay. So where are we going now? The bridge? Go to adventure map. New main mission available. The Bridge of Sorrow. Oh boy. Villagers of Kingstone. Maybe we can go back there and redo a mission at a higher difficulty or something? The Bridge of Sorrow spans the chasm that separates these woods from the shore where I'm hoping to find the Trail of Arthur. The castle that is guarding the passage is about to fall in the battle against the creatures of darkness that threaten Camelot. I must protect the fortress before it's too late. There is also some brotherly rivalry going on between the heirs, so this is shaping up to be an interesting undertaking again. Wow. Okay. What is this now? Enemy type the Lost. Oh, it's going to be uh, Zambies. And a recruitable hero. Take back the castle, the Bridge of Sorrow, and cross to the other side. Required hero, Sir Mordred. Oh, boy. We're going into the Dark Lands now, boys. This gonna be interesting. This gonna be interesting. Bum, bum. Been a lot of ice cream, Chad. Chad, are you, get, are you getting hungry for dessert? We need a feast in this game. The Bridge of Sorrow. So you have decided to come to the bridge. Right on time, I'd say. I don't like this eerie silence. Okay, so he chose to meet us there. Sir Balin, of course. Alright, let's go. Hey! Is anyone here? What on earth could this be? You again. Clear away from my land. Balin, brother! You can't banish me from my own land. This castle is my heritage. This castle belongs to a lord who can defend it for a change. You call this defense? You are hiding in a tower, watching it all crumble away. Enough, or I swear I'll gut you both. Boy, the devil, it is Sir Mordred in the flesh. What has brought you back from the bottom of the pit, Dread Knight? Hmm. I decided to take matters into my own hands and clear the bridge. That's the Sir Mordred I knew. You don't even care what horrors lie beyond. Uh, where does the bridge lead exactly? To the land of midnight, where the restless dead crawl in the dark. Oh, Twitter. Uh, is this why your father left the castle? My father has become a filthy, rotting abomination. Who cares why he left? It fell to me to defend our land, and that's all that matters. Your father is dead. He still had some honor in him, but I had to destroy him. You did God's work then. Good. After all, you will need his blessings beyond the bridge. I only care about finding King Arthur. Good luck with that. The ship that brought him here was destroyed not far from here, in the Whispering Cove. It is an unholy place. Then that will be my next destination. You must pass this bridge to reach that region, and it is swarming with the dead. I've been trying to clear them out. With astounding success, as I see. Let's make a deal. You help me cleanse the bridge, and I will let you pass. What a generous offer. You know what? Let's do this. Open the gate. Wow. A very door-opening experience. 
formation. There are six different formations which can uh, change while discovering a map. You can also reorganize the position of heroes in the formation by dragging the hero portraits on the left side of the screen. Okay. Well, how does everyone follow me? Oh, well, you should be... Archer should be in the rear, but I, I don't know if it'll matter. Or we can just keep her in the middle, because she, she is the lightest armored. All right, let's look for booty. No booty, what? Watch out for explosives on the bridge. Hopefully we don't find any. All right, let's go. Sense the savagery. Who could have done this? Zambies. And I thought I had seen hellish things. Welcome to my world. Okay. Your orders? Make up your mind. Ready to fight. None can stand in my way. Sinners shall bleed. Damn straight. Start shooting, ma'am. Down with the violence. <gasps> Your command? One less to hurry about. Nice. Ready. Your Highness? You couldn't clear these zombies out? These guys are easy. No bite. Don't you bite me. That didn't kill him? No mercy for the wicked. The Lord guides my hand. At your service, my lord. Awaiting your command. The Lord is my witness. What? Really? It, it actually is in the game. Bear Trap. Places a hidden bear trap on the empty tile. The trap triggers when an enemy unit enters it. The tile deals 100% weapon damage and causes slow for one turn. The hero can have a maximum number of five active traps. Can't be placed on tiles adjacent with an enemy. AKA that. Bear Traps. Unbearable. These wretches won't return from the grave this time. It seems quiet now, but they can come at you from anywhere. Believe me, I fought and bled for each room. Let's clean out the places where they gather. Okay. We need to clear the tower, the chapel, and the bridge. On well, the other side. And let's look around for booty. Oh, great. Watch out for bears. They put them on... <laughs> they probably... The, the bears are probably on the other side of the bridge, yeah. 
Blessings. Wait, is there another way I can come in here? Yeah, they will just clean house together. The Lord is my witness. The Lord is my witness. Uh Is he dead? Oh. We have to down and then finish them off. Okay. Sinners shall bleed. Interesting. I fight for honor. I can take them all. Sir Kay, you're you're going on scouting duty, sir. For king and country. Awaiting your command. What? I serve the Lord. Well, hi, literally everybody. Wow. Let me cut you to size. Oh, Sir Kay's no back here. Ready to fight. <laughs> Your command? One less to worry about. Sinners shall bleed. I serve the Lord. I wouldn't imagine anyone will come up from behind us. No mercy for the wicked. Eye for an eye. Ah. This is my atonement. Oh boy. <laughs> Stay mad. The Lord is my witness. Christ on the cross. These guys are a little tough, aren't they? They were. For king and country. Now you are dead. I am ready. I can take them all. Oh, he's hiding in the corner. Oh, this is my atonement. your service my lord what are we waiting for i am ready goodbye <laughs> get wrecked it's a shame what happened to this castle it could have been a match to camelot but those times are over get wrecked all right, let's see. HP recovery or armor smith kit. Restore 75% of lost armor. Uh, is that for one character or all? All heroes for HP, all heroes for armor. Mm, let's do armor. 
Another fine day. If we find a um, if we find a shrine, we can give what's his name a little bit of health. If that's what it uh, gives us. I hear booty. This may serve a higher purpose. Oh, yeah, we can also do potions. That works. A but revelation, I perhaps. I guess it's good to save that for battles. Ooh. Ah, the joys of plunder. Wow, that looks pretty. And we got some coin. Hoglad. There's Tennessee accents in the game. I think you're right. Uh, we can go up here. The head of the bridge is already in the land of midnight. Oh no. We fought our most vicious battles here. Let's go here then. A place to stay warm. Okay, we can heal up there. I look upon this castle and feel nothing but fury. It has turned into a cesspool of death. While I was in my death-like slumber. Heal HP, no. Let's check the other one. Sometimes they do more than just heal HP. What's up, Marie? Good to see you in the chat. Welcome to the Big O stream. A statue of King Arthur again? Shouldn't we start replacing them with mine? <laughs> Amen, brother. Ah, we'll find the other shrine later. Let's go left. Hi, sir. Ooh. What's up, Jessica B? Definitely want to take the flank. Let's do this. We'll let Sir K. I am ready. Sir K and uh, I can take them all. Lady Sniper, do that. Sinners shall bleed. Your orders? Trying not to die to death. Okay, this should be good. Alright, once in the chat for luck. Uh, I don't think so, Odin. I don't think I have. Oh, there's a big boy in the way. Your command? Let's take out the range. Now you are dead. <laughs> Knock his ass down. Sinners shall bleed. The Lord is my witness. All right, ma'am, start taking some shots. That Ric Flair? Woo! Woo! Make up your mind. Your orders? Oh damn! Uh. Prepare to die. King and country. The Lord is my witness. Wow. 
Nice. She came in clutch with that shot. Blessings. At your service, my lord. Make up your mind. Guys in the way. Son of a... Ah. Got him with the backstab. And glory. After I got to Avalon, I was baptized here for the second time. Just to make sure, you know. The Lord giveth. Cool. Thanks, Alexei, for being here. Welcome to the stream. Good to see everybody uh, jumping in. Welcome. All right, let's get across this that bridge. This is the Bell of Midnight. Darkness corrupted it, and the sound that gave us strength started to spread the hellish curse. The once sanctified bell is cursed. You shouldn't even touch it. It brings ill luck. Ooh. Let's toll this bell. I want to see what happens. We should leave it alone. Now let's leave it alone. Maybe it summons like a big, big boss. Okay, let's heal up. Uh... Save the game, then ring the bell. Okay. All right, we'll ring the bell. Sanctified bell is cursed. You shouldn't even touch it. It brings ill luck. Hold the bell. I want to see what happens. Just zombies? Ready to fight. I fight for honor. Ready. Sinners shall bleed. The Lord is my witness. Some sort of spawn point or something? I'm not sure what that command. is. None can stand in my way. Oh, nice. Get wrecked, zombies. At your service, my lord. <laughs> what are we waiting for?
Get wrecked. Sinners shall bleed. That should be everybody. Ah, uh, more. So those are spawn points for more zombies. Oh, great. Make up your mind. Blessings. <laughs> Blessings. Serve the Lord for king and country. Oh boy, that's gonna be interesting. All them zombies, all the zombies coming in. I can take them all. I think we're good though, right? Oh, we're at yeah, we're at wave two out of two. This should be fine. Sinners shall bleed. Sinners shall bleed. Defend yourself. <laughs> Make up your mind. I think... Uh, mm, I don't know. See what happens. Oh yeah, they can revive. Oh ah. Oh ah ah oh oh. Sinners shall bleed. All right, ma'am, get him. For king and country. Can I move diagonally through that? Okay. Nothing left to kill. Job done. Very nice. Hey, what's up, Bluebell? Welcome back to the Big O Strim. All right, well that was fun. That probably gained us a little, maybe XP or something like that. I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. We could heal up everybody too. There's a little fire over here, so let's take advantage of that. Have ourselves some din din. When we are finished, this castle will make an excellent outpost. I agree. That damn shrine is luring back the dead. Destroy it. All right, so that'll respawn them. We got to go for that. Awaiting your command. None can stand in my way. Ready. The Lord is my witness. Big boy. Yeah.
Oh boy. Santiago, welcome aboard as a raptor hatchling. Thank you very much for your support. Power and glory. I am here to serve. None can stand in my way. The Lord is my witness. What? All right, nice. The first wave eliminated. For king and country. Now we got a breakthrough. Yeah. Life is suffering. Your orders? For my Camelot. Sinners shall bleed. Nice. For the Lord Almighty. None can stand in my way. Awaiting your command. What? Alright, we're breaking through. I am ready. Ready to fight. Your command? I can take for more. The Lord is my witness. Oh. oh man, more crossbows? For my Camelot. I think I got For destroyed. King and country. Destroyed. I am ready. Now let's push it. None can stand in my way. The Lord is my witness. Come on up, ma'am. We might have Time to deal with some boys from behind, the but ravens. We gotta clear that bone totem. The bone totem. Bone, 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 bone. bone, 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 bone. <laughs> oh boy. Well, hi there. Blessings. No mercy for the wicked. Try to go up there and see if I can get his attention. There we go. Sinners shall bleed. <gasps> yeah, ma'am, you gotta get out of there. Kneel before your king. Oh bad. oh bad. Bad, 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 bad. Uh. Uh. Oh. Uh, uh. oh. Uh. Thank God he's there. Not enough to kill me. Whew. 
He's holding the line, baby, with all that armor. Prepare to die. The Lord is my witness. What are we waiting for? Destroy. I am here to serve. <sighs> Your command? Now you are dead. Ready to fight. At your service, my lord. I am here to serve. Blessings. This is an intense gamer moment right now. It's just a light. Not enough to kill me. Damn, he was able to hold like a champion. Sinners shall bleed. Oh, I guess it only lasts till the end of that turn. Okay. Let's finish off the bone totem. Make up your mind. Your command? <laughs> okay, hopefully that means they're dead to death. None can stand in my way. Blessings. Kneel before your king. I think we just got to take out the last living uh, big boy now. I think what? Well, uh, just the, just the last uh, guy that's down there has to die. We took a lot of damage to take care of him, but it was worth it. I am ready. Serve the Lord. Hmm. Christ on the cross. Time to feed the ravens. Deals negative thirty three percent damage. <laughs> Didn't matter. We. Onwards. We should definitely go back and try to find a, a thing. Okay. Oh boy. Um. Hopefully that was for healing. Actually, didn't check. Final battle. Here it comes. Now that the castle has been cleansed, I will rule over the bridge. <laughs> well, let's see. I see that you think you earned this bridge, Sir Balin. Your brother might have something to say about this. Yes. I am the rightful heir. This was our father's will. Can I count in 
as you on as a knight of my round I'm table. I'm glad to serve a righteous king. As a knight, I will accept your decision, whatever it shall be. Nice. Uh, green is health, orange is armor, Raptor. Well, actually, there's 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 bars above their health and armor that's armor. The orange is their health, and then the green is vitality. And so when the green goes down, that's like critical damage that can give us like debuffs for injury and such. Or at least that's how they explained it. Balan? I'd suggest that you consider your next step wisely. Sir Balan, I need a knight with your talents at my round table. Uh, the bridge will remain under my protection. I am the ruler of Camelot, and you'll both obey me. Sir Balan, by the law, this bridge belongs to you. Hmm. Yeah, there's one, one thing for armor with various amounts of armor, and then there's like two different types of health, kind of. I kind of want to take the middle route. If we do the middle route, both of them, like, we have options to maybe recruit them both? That seems like the better option overall. I am true to my word. I will accept your decision. You are making a mistake, but you leave me no choice. There is no reason for me to stay here. Let it be your way. This is settled, then you both can leave now. Oh, did we get neither of them? Oh, no, they're both with us. I don't know. Well, let's see what happens. Well, that's why it's, you know, worth playing multiple playthroughs to go good, bad, Christian, or old faith. I helped out the two bickering brothers, Balin and Balin, and defeated the army of the dead that besieged the castle at the Bridge of Sorrow and I made a decision about the fate of the land. Now the road is clear to the other side of the chasm, where monsters roam, and somewhere in the darkness, King Arthur awaits. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Oh, the game begins. Just getting started. So two level ups, nice. Oh, and now we got a lot of good weapons. Sickening Rune of Power. The Wrestler's Amulet of Outmaneuvering. Brewmaster Sigil, Brewmaster Sigil, Sigil of Steel Plates, uh, Trophy of Bloodletting, and Healing Potions. Nice. Difficulty settings. You can change the game's difficulty in the options menu at any time if you're finding the battles too challenging or maybe too easy. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, let's rebuild the... Maybe the training ground? Nice. Training! While your heroes are training, they'll be unavailable for missions. You can stop their training at any time without losing XP that your heroes have already gained. Alternatively, you can send your heroes on a joust. Your hero will level up within a single mission's time, but doing so will cost you gold. Training slots. At the moment, you only have one training slot available for your heroes. You can unlock new slots if upgrading the training ground. Okay. Training dummy, barracks, expansion one, two, three, archery range, nice. Advanced physical training or basic physical training. Okay. That's cool. You can have a master of arms. Nice. So I wonder, is that like I wonder if the bridge is under my control now. Cathedral. Uh, yep, yeah, we're not going to have enough building resources for that. And same with the tower. Tower is 500. Cathedral is 500. Okay. Alright, time to upgrade. We earned a lot of good stuff, so we better do some upgrade. Well, we're going the 9 to 10 then. Regain two vitality when drinking potions. Nice. But the Wrathful Sigil is good. Plus 10% damage for one turn for each hit received. 
But I don't know if that's ha- ah, I wonder how that works. Is it immediately after you get hit, or until you do your next damage? I think we'll keep what we got for now. Since he is the tank, after all. We also have skill points available, so... Killing Blow. Hero gains 1 AP when killing a unit with Strike. Ooh. That's a really good one. So at higher levels, we'll unlock more skills such as Bone Breaker and Sweeping Strike. Weighted Charge. Cooldown reduced by one turn. I haven't been able to use that just yet. Let's, uh, let's use that one too. Alright, what do we got? The Wrestler's uh, Amulet of Outmaneuvering. Plus two damage against slowed units or knockdown units. Oh, that might be good because we do have the knockdown ability. Okay. Ah, yes. Yeah, Sir K. Hello. Don't have much for him. Could go to the trader, though, but we don't really have much money. Oh, has everybody got potions? Ba, 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 ba. Oh, looks like I get to click and drag, okay. So Sir Balin and Sir Balin are with us. One of them must have been evil, I guess. Oh, ma oh okay. Maybe Balin was the bad boy. Based on his armor, maybe? I don't know. Strength. The hero does... Deals 10% more damage. Damage. No, Sir K is not from the K the Circle K stores. I think we're going to bring these four into battle. Can we move him, like, down here? No. All right, we're going to save you for later, sir. What do you got? Steel-plated sigil... Can I? Oh, you can unequip stuff. Okay. Well, we're gonna borrow some stuff from you. For now. Unbreakable armor wall and duel. Thirty plus ten re damage reduction in cover. A lot of these are pretty good. All right, let's sp uh, spend skill points now. So Sir K. Yes. Good, good. Hmm. Stubborn. Oh yeah, how's loyalty going? Average, good, good. Average, okay. Mission conscious, no loyalty from court titles. Baptized, negative one loyalty if old faith decision is made by mission. Unpopular, healing vitality at hospice costs 100% more for this hero. <laughs> so 
Sir Balin, you are a pain in the ass, but we'll bring you along in a mission soon. I promise. I don't promise. Okay, let's uh, go, I guess. We're good. I guess we'll give him a potion. Always make sure we got everybody have a potion. Does anybody else need a trophy? We're fine. All right, let's go. So now we made it across the bridge. Ooh, and now things are starting to open up. Oh, wow, yep. The cursed ship recommended level four. Oh. So they want us to stay back and do some side missions. Yeah, most of our characters are level 3 or 2. Okay. So that's a main mission and we can do it, but they recommend staying behind and finishing up stuff like this. The Mangle Grove. Hmm. You have two missions left to finish this event. The Mangle Grove. Rebuilding, the King Rebuilding Kingstone proved to be an ungrateful undertaking. The villagers craved freedom so badly, yet at the first sign of trouble, they cry for help. How ironic. Even worse, they can't stop bothering me about a foreboding place they call the Mangle Grove. Some of them want to rebuild the ancient sanctuary. Others wish, wish to raise a Christian church, as they think it will prevent the unholy powers seeping into Avalon. Uh, rebuild ancient ruin to former glory, or rebuild the church? Well, doing the old thingy will make uh, Lady Sniper mad. What other decisions do we have? Uh, let's, bu let's build a Pinto Bless. Make uh, Lady Sniper Lady happy. Villagers of Kingstone. The defeat of the Marauder Knight of Kingstone has a harsh lesson for all scoundrels pillaging the countryside. Ah, so there's like, so when you complete a mission, there's like follow-up decisions you can make that kind of, like more of a king decision afterwards. So you go out, kill all the enemy, the raiders there, and then later you can do like a, make a decision of a king. Okay. Uh, the... It's a pleasant exercise for me as remaining henchmen immediately laid down their weapons and offered their servitude. How admirably they crave retribution. I could give them a second chance and recruit them. On the other hand, I should satisfy the vengeance of the villagers and make an example that could reinforce my reign. What shall it be? Uh, recruit them as henchmen. Justice can wait. In these dire times, we need expendable soldiers plus 50 building resources. Uh, put the captured marauders to sword. It is in a harsh. It is a harsh verdict, but acts can they committed in Kingston cannot be tolerated. Only fifty resources. That's... Nah. Okay. Good. So we're here now. Plus two rightful, plus one Christian. Okay. Oh yeah, Sir Sir Balin is a Christian tyrant. Sir Balin is old faithful rightful. Old faithful. Christian, neutral. Okay. Christian Bale, yes. So there's still old monastery to go to. The whole bone crags. Oh, a lot of new places are unlocking too. Springdale. 
Let's see fire with fire. A remote forest village built upon ancient ruins has gone silent. And not even the soldiers we sent out have returned. I shouldn't be surprised. There are also rumors of a terrible ancestral curse. The walls birthing eyes and everybody succumbing to the undead plague. This case surely needs our attention. Oh, congratulations, Ethan, on the purple eye. Uh, deal with the curse in the village. Uh, enemy type, the lost, and another recruitable hero. Oh, good. Let's do it. That's some cool art right there. I like that. That is big o crazy. Are those... Oh, I thought those were... Are those bugs or leaves? Oh, leaves. God, I hope those are leaves. Oh, this feels like a Wild West now. Showdown. Die, vile beasts! Back to the grave with you! Yeah, get him, bro. Whoever you are, we're going to help you, sir. No mercy for the wicked. I am here to serve. I serve the Lord. Wait a minute. Uh oh. Brought the wrong people on the mission. My bad. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, my bad. village built upon ancient ruins has gone silent there we go and not even the soldiers we sent out have returned my bad thank goodness for auto saves yeah loading in Let's see. Oh, we can just walk around with the... Just click two. Die, vile beasts! Back to the grave with you! Okay. Let's kick some butt. I am ready. Your service, my lord. Blessings for the Lord Almighty. Nice. Zombies are joining the fun. Wow. Who is this guy? Oh, damn. Sir Ector. No mercy for the wicked. It's Sir Ector. Fun fact for you, Raptor, Sir Ector is the adoptive father of King Arthur? Really? Wow. 
Damn. The whole King Arthur uh, orders? lore is pretty pretty cool, actually. The Lord is my witness. I can see why so many people are knowledgeable about it. Your head is mine. <laughs> oh, my bad. Get him, Sir Actor. Yeah, wow. Headshot. Your command? Got him. Pretty sure. Hello, sir. Knights of the round table. The Lord Almighty heard my prayers. Sir Ector, who raised King Arthur like his own. In the flesh. Master of arcane arts, keeper of secrets. What the hell happened here? A terrible curse was unleashed. The ignorant peasants built pigsties upon sacred ground, where heroes were laid to rest. Hmm. And this curse turned people into walking corpses? Indeed. I arrive with soldiers, but now I'm the last to stand against the darkness. You are not alone any longer. Join our ranks. This village should be cleansed in the name of the Lord with fire and steel. It shall be done. Let's go. This game gives you the option to just be like really just horrible Good to see and mean. You again, Father. It's been a long time since we fought side by side. Oh, son. This is not the reunion we were both hoping for. What's going on here? The less you know, the better. All I ask is that you don't judge my actions too quickly. Break the undead plague. Oh boy. Oh my god. That's a lot of zombies. I serve the law. So this is why formation is important here, because sometimes you don't get to choose your deployment point. However, in this case, it's fine. There's a big boy in the back at 18. None can stand in my way. Make up your mind. Sir Ector has Force Bolt and Slowing Hex. The Power of and country. Price compels you. I serve the Lord. No mercy for the wicked. Let them come to us. I feel like Thriller is about to start playing. Wow, there are so many zombies. Can we get like an airstrike or artillery strike? Oh boy. Ah, there's a lot of you guys. Wow. <laughs> this is fine. Oh boy. Prepare to die. Ready to fight. Witness. 
for the Lord Almighty. <laughs> Power and glory. I fight for honor. <laughs> nice. Okay, that's one area clear. Four more to go. Hopefully there's These some villages were unaffected by the curse. Loot and booty around they here. They got slaughtered by swordsmen. This is strange. A good spot for resting. Nice. Free money. What is this thing? Ocean and money. Hello, ma'am. Help! Please help me! Finally, a survivor. Everyone is dead! Help me! I've heard that already. Stop babbling and explain yourself. Soldiers came. Desecrated the old graves, rounded up some villagers, and put them to the sword. I saw their eyes before... Oh, God. Who led them? Oh, God. The man who led the soldiers is... standing right there with you. Oh, what? Does she mean Sir Ector? I think I'm going insane. I don't want to die. Please, don't let him any closer. Calm yourself, woman. Now I'm getting even more curious. What on earth had happened here? Uh, Hector, you want to explain what she just said? No? Uh, there's something fishy going on. Lots of dead troops around, lots of dead villagers around. This used to be a sacred ground, but it turned into a nightmarish purgatory for dead heroes. Hardly my doing, I admit. I must cleanse this place. Well, let's go through here then. this here lies the unforgiven or unforgotten may their name forever uh, be wreathed in glory sir aviston the brave sir Kala the unrelenting sir uh, perinfall the grim oh there's a box Uh, what's up with all these green glowing pots all of a sudden? With like weird hands coming out of them.
Okay, we found another place to chill. That's good. Take a look at this. Um, well, that's the same thing as before. Deliver us from temptation. I hoped for something more. A trophy. Jewelry. Ninety-one dollars. Nice. Oh, they have these at Pottery Barn? Okay. A keen eye to spot that one. I know there's a chest, like, up here. Or maybe that was the chest I found a minute ago. Okay, we can actually walk around this place. Just a shrine. Oh. Power of swiftness. Let's give that to Lady Sniper. Now oh, look at around, pays off. We found a lot of good stuff. Probably more around here somewhere. Here's a fight. Zambies! Shall bleed. Awaiting your command. Ready. Hmm. Oh, nice. Get wrecked. Ready to fight. Command? <laughs> Don't you give me that roar. Oh boy, not this again. Uh, what's orange and sounds like a parrot? A carrot? Okay. Blessings. Chat. Here's something else. You know that chat? Power and glory. Uh, so you stay away. your service, my lord. Your Highness? Your command? Make up your mind. I serve the Lord. I am ready. I fight for honor. Neo. Before your king. Hoop. Hoop. 
Damn. This dude's a devastator. Uh, how many apples grow on trees? All of them. <laughs> Chat's keeping the spirits up. Nice. Director, no. Serve the Lord. Ma'am, don't touch me. Down with the violence. Time to feed the ravens. It's just a light wound. Oh no no. I didn't mean to do that at all. I wanted to turn around so I could face him, not move. Blessings. Defend yourself. That's bad. Yeah, I wanted to turn around so I could face that guy there. And not get not get what? hit by a rail car. Oh great. For my Camelot. I fight for honor. Take them. Awaiting your command. Is there not like a way to face that guy? There we go. There we go. No. It's <laughs> so tricky with that pointing system. Your Highness? The Lord is my witness. Uh. Sinners shall bleed. I serve the Lord. Well, now we're going to have to go to the hospital. That will be the mark. Prepare to die. No mercy for the wicked. The undead herd is getting thinner. I would have failed without your help. How about a little honesty in return? I came to this bloody place to rally some help to our cause, to perform a ritual, but I have failed. Hmm. Still talking riddles? Out with the truth. No. Not yet. Sooner or later, you'll have no choice. That's eh, just a flesh wound. We'll be fine. Well, we could go back to the uh, fires back by the uh, graveyard. Do we get our armor up? My loyal vassals. They were fighting till their last breath. Over here. May the Lord take their soul. Ready to serve the Lord. Yeah, get that armor up. Goodbye letter. Hastily scribbled message, most probably from a scholar. Dear wife, I think I'm not going to make it. Soldiers arrived to the village led by an arcanist and performed horrible acts I can't describe. They made the dead walk again. I just want us to say I love you with all my heart. Your Dunin. Let's make a wall. I am here to serve. 
The Lord is my witness. Power and glory. I serve the Lord. Man, there's a lot of enemies. Crossbow, crossbow. Crossbows, great. Four. I serve the Lord. Down with the vileness. The Lord is my witness. Time to feed the ravens. Your Highness. Mercy for the wicked. Hold the line. <clears throat> oh boy. That's a big boy. Dude, this looks like uh, Resident Evil 4. All the all the enemies in this like you remember how Resident Evil 4 starts out when you're in the village your highness was that gonna hurt him <laughs> not if we use it that way the Lord is my witness <laughs> defend yourself Power and glory. Nice. Your command? Oh, ho, ho, get wrecked, sir. None can stand in my way. Get absolutely wrecked. Let me cut you to size. Your Highness, for king and country. <laughs> yeah, direction is so important in this game. talking to lost one the fool who raised the dead to recruit an army for Camelot Sir Edgar. I want to know more about this I was laid to rest as a revered champion now I'm just a puppet brought back by an unholy ritual Oh my god, he brought back all the people in the graveyard that we saw their names earlier. Oh my god. I still long for battle, but I refuse to fight for anyone but myself. Choose your champion for one last nightly bout. We honor your challenge, lost one. 
I still long for battle, but I refuse to fight for anyone but myself. Choose your champion for one last nightly bout. Sir Balin. Well, I've never done a duel before. your ass with that power attack, though. <laughs> Got him. Looking at me like that. Because of these accusations, there is no price too dear to pay for Avalon. The Lord forgives. Uh-huh. Forgives Some what? Riches to take. The Lord giveth. Who is Shrine? Shrine ahead. Uh, let's see. Heal HP. Let's go for, uh, let's see, maybe the Sir. Sir? Sir more dead. He's going to have to have a hospital visit when we get back, too, because of my uh, accidental uh, misclick to move. Hopefully, um, maybe they'll add an update where it'll actually confirm that before you, like, move the to take Lord damage. Because, like, before we... We moved when we shouldn't have moved, but I didn't want to I move. See a chest. But moving was bad times. Raptor never played Ugio. Um, I remember the TV series, but we're seeing a lot of it on TV. It was more Pokemon times, though. Where should we go up here? I guess we'll go up here. My God, the Lord giveth. Uh oh, this is gonna be a narrow. Oh boy. All right, let's block the gates. Power and glory. Sir Ballad, how the hell did you get in there? <laughs> oh, nice. Immediately took down a crossbowman. What? Ready to fight. The Lord is my witness. I wonder if they brought an army here to try to kill the army and the villagers and then raise the dead. To like try to double the their Lord numbers. Is my witness. Sinners shall bleed. I serve the Lord. I think we're good. Stay put for now. <laughs> that armor, man. <laughs> eh, eh, oh, oh, uh oh. More zombies. Oh, and a crossbowman. Wonderful. Blessings. I finish him off so he can't come back. <laughs> what are we waiting for? The too far range. Yeah, it must be. Uh, let's get rid of you, sir. I am ready. That sounded like it hurt. Oh, they could still come from behind us, so let's just. At your uh, service, my lord. I serve the Lord. No mercy for the wicked. I can't take them all. Uh, where is? 
Ready to fight. Okay. Time to feed the ravens. <laughs> Their screams please you. It is pretty satisfying. There's a lot of um a lot of good like like the maps look pretty good, but like all the extra detail on that and the sound design is really nice. I do I do like that. I agree. And it's kind of funny when you hear a zombie screech. Let me <laughs> to size. Yeah. Pretty funny. <laughs> All right, sir, come down here so we can kill you. Oh. Power and glory. That oh, wins. oh, there's probably so much loot and booty around here. Oh, that leaves the area. We don't want to do that. Who knew, zombies? Very satisfying to kill them. Hear a box nearby. I see a chest. Yep, there it is. Two handed weapons, nice. And seventy-seven dollars. Have you ever been visited by an angel of the Lord, Mordred? I think I was. It was frightening. Um Blessings. Oh, we can't get them behind cover? Oh, dude. If only I could have, like, put these two back here, they could have just stayed in cover while we defended the line. I can take them all. All right, let's go here. Make up your mind. You go there. No mercy for the wicked. You park there. Your Highness? Uh, Sir Kay, you're going to be in the middle. And... Your orders? You'll be there. Sinners shall bleed. Go for the crossbowmen first if they're within range. What? Hold the line. Let them come to us. And here comes the horde. The only knight I really want to see is Sir uh, Escador. The Babylonian king, an English knight slash king. Ooh. That's probably a whole list of characters on the Steam store page. Again, if you guys are enjoying this, don't forget that today's stream is sponsored by King Arthur Knight's Tale. The link is in the description, at the very top of the description down below, and also pinned at the top of the chat, uh, which comes out tomorrow on the 26th. So if you're watching this uh, not live, it is more than likely out now. Hey, big boy. None can stand in my way. Where did that crossbowman go? Oh, there's two of them there. Three of them. Four of them. I serve the Lord. Oh, let's zap one of them. The Lord is my witness. We'll get two of them. Ma'am. Oh damn, that shield is good. Oh great, more crossbowmen. Sinners shall bleed. At your service, my lord. Ready to fight. Sir Kay, you do what you do best, bro. Five in a turn. I fight for honor. Maybe not. Uh. Eh. 
taste. Got him. We're done with the chaff. We must head to the sacred grounds at once. More riddles again? The curse is slowly coming undone, and the soil is spewing out lost ones. They are awake. Let me guess. They're not usual shamblings, corpus. I am afraid not. Oh. Reanimated husks of knights. Great warriors. Splendid. Let's go. Defeat the lost knights. Oh, wait. I think we already defeated one of them. I need to find a fire pit real quick. Need to get that armor back up. We have taken, uh... Yeah. Damage! Damage! Oh, we've taken damage. I know there's a fire pit at the cemetery. Maybe it's around here. Wow. Uh -huh. No, no, that ain't it. I was gonna say, yeah, but no. If I go in there, it's gonna be a fight. I don't wanna fight yet. Oh, well, you can actually walk by just holding shift. Take some school, uh, pretty cool screenshots that way. Where's another fire? I know it was like outside of this place. I don't think I used it though, did I? I think you can only use it once. Uh, I want to heal up, but... Was it up here? Oh, there it is. That's right. The one with the guy dead in the corner. Ooh, thank goodness we looked around. Oh, let's go for armor. Rested and ready. Okay, let's go to war. Oh, great. Those are the three that we saw earlier, I think. Or maybe there's just two. Hmm. Well, I'm going to hold the line in the back, so let's put... Um, your orders? No mercy for the wicked. Range here. Your Highness. Time to feed the ravens. The Lord is my witness. There we go. Can she shoot from there? Oh, a little bit. Well, whatever. These enemies are going to move. Shall bleed. Oh, wait, we can shoot these things? I hope that doesn't make them more powerful. I don't know what that does, but. Oh, boy. For another fun fact, the battle you saw in the opening was called the Battle of uh, Camlon. 
of which almost all of the official knights who joined Arthur died and only one survived? Ooh. I can take them all. I wonder if we survived and we're not dead after all. Maybe. Hold the line. They bury me on a bed of flowers. Now all I crave is blood. Yeah, I'm holding control, but it doesn't seem to bring anything up. Oh, there we go. Oh, hold. Oh, I see. Hover over this, hold control, then you can move over here. Dark Cloud. After destroying the vase, it creates a cloud of 3x3 three three area for 3 two turns. <laughs> Units in the area suffer 4 to 8 damage. Moving through the area will suffer 4 to 8 damage for every tile moved. Does that affect them, though? Make up your mind. Blessings. Almighty. They're poisoned in fire, hopefully. Hold the line, let them come to us. Be forever cursed, Sir Hector. Wow, Hector here really made these guys mad. But I guess, you know, I'd be mad too if I was trying to get a nap and this guy was bothering with me. He was messing with me, all. All right, so it looks like the spongy mobs at your service, my lord, are damaged by that. For Camelot. <laughs> uh. Blessings. Ma'am, can you shoot him? I love how she can just sidestep and do stuff. That's so good. What? It's really good. The Lord is my witness. I am here to serve. Onwards. No! Hold the line. See you soon in hell, Sir Hector. We shall be awaiting. Boy, he's got a lot of friends that he made mad. Your Highness? None can stand in my way. Blessings. I think we should just stay right here. I fight for honor. <laughs> Kneel before your king. All right, come on over. Blessings. Oh, nice. Double damage. Fight. Time to feed the ravens. The Lord is my witness. Here we go. The final battle, y'all. No mercy for the wicked. For my Camelot. <laughs> Prepare to die. 
command? I am here to serve. All right, one down. No mercy for the wicked. No mercy for the wicked. You're the one who chose to walk through there, sir. Is that the last enemy? I think that's king it. And country. <laughs> Kneel before your king. For Camelot. <laughs> I can take them all. Your heart <laughs> is mine. <laughs> Alright, actor, we want answers, damn it. Chat's the been plague is over, wanting to know. And the curse has been dispelled. Yet, I still owe you an explanation. You do. Yeah, you do. You were long overdue. I came to this place to resurrect great champions of old. To bind them to my bidding with an incantation. Fighting fire with fire, that's bold. Avalon is besieged from all sides. It must survive. Whatever it costs. My honor or your lives. It doesn't matter. What happened to the village? The earth demands blood to release the dead. I ordered my men to kill some villagers. But the incantation went wrong. I knew it. He was out here killing civilians to try to summon the uh, zombies. You performed a blood sacrifice at a burial ground? The ritual has worked before. But the Shavalon... It's not the place I used to know. The Sir Actor I know would have never done this. I have not been the same man since I died. I regret nothing. There's still plenty of time for that, but not here. Let's go. Gotta be some other loot around here somewhere. Or not. Pretty sure we were pretty thorough. There was a chest behind me. Oh well. Now I see it. Well, good eye on you. You spotted it. I did not. But that's okay. The curse was unleashed upon the village by Sir Ector, who was. T dabbling in a forbidden arts to resurrect some legendary knights to fight for Camelot again. The incarnation went wrong, and turning everyone into mindless undead, Hector did everything he thought necessary to save Avalon, but uh, he is an ally or a madman with a terrible burden. Probably both. Yeah, I'd say both, yeah. Wow, we unlocked a lot of stuff. Retiring vassals. Uh, a few vassals and servants are in the court, usually too young or too old to ho hold a sword, ask me to re uh, relieve them of service. Usually I'm not fond of such pleas in wartime, but their gray-haired emissary has chosen his words carefully and offered a decent compensation in gold and jewelry. All they're asking for is freedom and some weed-ridden turf around Camelot, and none neither of these hold great value for me. Okay. Bye. Sir Hector has joined the court. Good. Very good. Uh, let's make sure we save just in case. Level 4. That's what we're striving to be. Alright, so Tale of Sir Yuvin. Some more uh, questing to do. So there's... So the main goal now is to get to the cursed ship. Before we go there, we got to work our way up to some side quests, which are really interesting story building and have their own character stuff. So I guess the next would be to do uh, probably natural order, 
do the tale of Sir Yvain, and then work for Forest once we level up enough. Everybody's been doing a great job, though, that's for sure. That is for sure. All right, folks, that does it for today's sponsored stream. Thank you very much to the developers for reaching out, the makers of King Arthur Knight's Tale for sponsoring the stream. Pinned a message at the top of the chat or at the top of the description down below is where you can find this one today. So just keep in mind that it'll eventually be coming out for PS5 and Xbox Series S and X. And the game's price on Steam will be $44.99, but that could be lower than that based on the fact that, uh, you know, once it uh, comes out, there could be a sale. So just make sure you always, you know, check in Steam, add it to your wish list if you're thinking about getting it, uh, but aren't going to get it just yet, that kind of thing. But... Anyway, thanks again, everybody, for being here. Thank you very much for tuning in. This will be out tomorrow, April 26th. So if you're watching now, less than 24 hours. And if you're watching in the future, again, check on Steam. Cool. All right, guys, thank you very much. There is a lot of lore and a lot to discover. Chat has been filled with people who have been knowledgeable about King Arthur and the whole uh, legend and mystic fables and such around it. And that is awesome. So there's definitely a lot of people who are knowledgeable not only about King Arthur, but everybody who surrounds and who sat at that round table before, too. So thanks again, everybody, for leaving a like on the way out. Thanks again to uh, everybody who subscribed today. Welcome to all the new members. Thanks for all the big O super chats. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you later today for more content on the channel. Thanks again, everybody, for watching. This was really uh, quite a delightful game, actually. Again, these games are becoming more and more where it's like, I thought, like, oh, I'm not... I, these games are too complicated. No. The more and more I've played these, like, real-time and turn-based strategy games, the more and more I'm liking them. And, uh... There's quite a lot of these out here like this, so definitely a, a very dark fantasy one. Definitely like more gritty and like uh, gross and like creepy and like the whole time we were playing it felt like bugs were crawling around. Everything was just getting grosser and grosser as we went on, so that was a lot of, a lot of fun. So anyway, I'll see you folks later today. Thank you very much for watching. Take care, everybody. Have a good afternoon, good evening, and good night. And thanks again for watching. Take care, everyone. See you shortly for more.